everybody. We are going to begin a new experience. And that new experience is going to be Pokemon Coliseum. Now, Coliseum, I know, has a sequel in Gales of Darkness XD, I think it's called? I'm not too sure. Despite the fact that I hear, like, a decent amount of, like, Hey, this is a good game. I wish there were more, like, uh, Pokemon games like this. They return to do this. I haven't really, like, heard anything specific about these games. So, I figured let's give it a shot. And uh, just as forewarning, this is being played on an emulator just for, like, uh, convenience sake. I could set it up on my Wii, but at the same time, my Wii is weird sometimes. So I just figured, meh, we can have it at technical higher resolution, all in one place, rather than worrying about- Plus, it also has been a while since I've used my capture card, and I need to do tests with that. But Brain was just like, meh, do it now, so we're doing it now. Again? Don't know much about this. All I know is Shadow Pokemon and it has a sequel. It's basically it. So let us see. Well, I have never played Story Mode. Let's look at the options just because we can. We are... There's not many options here. My, the, the bounty! The bounty of options today. Joy, but let us start a new game of Pokemon Coliseum because like again I know nothing all I know is huh, for some reason I forget like his internet handle I just know him as Tom he's a guy that's basically tied to Quagsire he's a fun guy I know that he was doing a shiny hunt of a shadow Quagsire in this game because he's going for the most decorated Quagsire. And, like, so yeah, that and, like, the thumbnail to, I forget his name, it's Slime something? But it's like Pokemon Coliseum, Dogs in Love. And the thumbnail is cute. That's basically it. I know next to nothing about this at all. I don't know what the story is. I don't know who the characters are. I don't know if this there's any, like... Special mechanics beyond, like, I think, catching Shadow Pokemon in trainer battles to, like, save them. Like a vigilante good guy. But, like, I know nothing about what the Shadow Pokemon are. I don't know what the, like, enemy team is. Because, like, every Pokemon game has an enemy team. Team Rocket, Team Magma, Aqua, Plasma. I have no idea. No nothing. I can only guess that Espeon and Umbreon are important to this game. Of which, yes, evolution representation. Dominance. But let's go! Your name. I think Wes... I think that might be the default name that people use for this character. I'm going to name him myself because this is a Pokemon game. All right. I already like, kind of like the graphics. Kind of reminds, well, it's from that era, so of course it reminds me of Tales of Symphonia. But, yes, I am Neon. Is Neon okay? Of course. I named myself that game. A Skarmory. A Mad Max. Well, the <laughs> those are obviously bad guys. They're all bald. And that guy's obviously evil, because that mustache and diddly d eyebrows are a crime against nature. I just come in with a creepy smile and I steal a pauldron gauntlet. Umbreon for the win. D does he just wait for doors to open with his arms crossed forever? Oh boy, Espeon! And we have our super duper hover bike? Our one-wheeled hover bike. Cool. <laughs> and terrorism against these guys. I already like this protagonist. 
despite his gremlin grin, he bl he blew up a wall, stole a thing from, I presume, a criminal gang, and blew up their base for, for extra good measure, and he has two evolutions. I love him already. And there's a train. That's a building, apparently. Well, outskirts stand, a lonely gasoline stand in a desolate desert. Travelers visit it on their journeys. Where even are we? All right, so we don't walk away. Uh, those guys look weird. Firehead and gog. Flah! Uh, we sure picked out, eh? I love chowing down after a job. It adds to the flavor, I swear. That bag is breathing. I think we're. These are kidnappers. <laughs> yeah, and we bagged ourselves a great big catch, too! Boss will be sure to fix us up with good or big rewards, too! <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this! Am I gonna have to chase after him to save somebody? Where are we in the Pokemon timeline? Because this is like, uh. Pokemon Emerald and uh, stuff time, I believe. Well, we're gonna go in. Ah, news time! Authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in Eklo Canyon. It was Team Sa Snagums. Alright. I guess they steal Pokemon. It was Team Snagum's hideout! Team Snagum is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time police arrived, the ruined building had already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. It should become apparent eventually. Neat. Hey, do you know about Team Snagum? Well, obviously we do because we stole from them, but let's say no. They're a bunch of heartless crooks. They rip off Pokemon from trainers without any hesitation. I hear they use something called a snag ball to catch Pokemon from their rightful trainer in battle. I'm guessing that you're a trainer. You'd best be careful. Speaking of that... PDA? Let's see, Pokemon, Umbreon, and Espeon. Yeah, they're actually already pretty high level. Adorable. Let's see. Synchronize. Passes on. Bashful nature. Neon's old friend. And what of you? Jolly nature. Neon's old friend. I already like this. That took a while to load, but okay. PDA. Okay, that's cool. There's email in here! Snag list. Display snagged Pokemon data. So, are we gonna just be stealing people's Pokemon? I have 10,000 Pokemon dollars. It is- that is hilarious that they're just called Pokemon dollars. Pokey Coupon, zero points. I- alert tone. I'm sorry, but that's not a melody. That's funky, I like it. Let's go funky. Get digi with it. And items. Do we have any items? We have super potions, potion, antidote, burn heal, ice heal, paralyze heal, awakening? Full heal? <laughs> Alright. Our guy has been... Wait, was... Is there like multiple things to this? There is! We have zero balls. No TMs, no berries, no key items. But apparently we're prepared everywhere else. Oh, I haven't seen your face around these parts. A traveler, huh? Not that it matters any. I don't know where you might have come from, but relax, stick around for a while. You know, I don't quite understand what happened, but having your hideout blow up on you. Crime doesn't pay, I guess. I live a crime-free life, so nothing's gonna blow up on me. <laughs> oh, is it just gonna replay it? Wait, sorry, now it's one of the mysterious... Oh! Authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in Eklo Canyon. Oh, no, it's the same thing. I thought they would be like, the stunning announcement was somebody blew it up from the outside and stole something. But no, it's just the same thing. Nice that they let you view it again. 
Is that pink-haired guy gonna be somebody that we've come to talk to? He seems anime enough for it. Are you anime enough to be involved in the story? There's no forgiving that team Snagum. They don't deserve it. Not when they... Wait, they don't... Oh, uh, forgiving. They're not deserving of forgiving, okay. They don't deserve it. Not when they steal Pokemon from trainers. Why, I'd give a hip-hip hooray if they were wiped out with their erect hideout. Uh, what's the... What is it? Mass murder of criminals! Huzzah! Vigilante execution. I don't think this is safe. Why are there gears in Steam if this isn't even moving? You're a Pokemon trainer too, aren't you? <laughs> I can tell. And you're good. I can see it in your eyes. I bet your Pokemon are impressive too. If the opportunity ever arises, I'd love to have a battle with you. <laughs> Though I doubt I'd have any chance of beating you. Alright. Uh-huh. Oh, let's say yes. They're seriously nasty lot. There's no telling how many trainers have suffered at their hands. All right, I talked to everybody. Um, unless I grab this newspaper. Nope. Well, I guess that's everything. I leave now. Yo, wait, wait up! Oh, well, it's the same guy. Hey, my name's Willie. After I got a good look at you, well. I got this urge to battle you. It's like I'm compelled to. Anyway, I look at it, it's obvious that you're no ordinary Joe. So, what do you say? Let's you and me have a quick battle. <laughs> That's the spirit! Alright, alright. Over here, this way. So this is our introductory to combat in this game. <laughs> I'm burning now! I'm on fire! It's full throttle time! Vroom vroom, let's roll! I'm going to assume that you're a fire type user. Rider Willy would like to battle with his pink hair. Oh, oh nope, Zigzagoon and Zigzagoon. Well, at least this proves that this is indeed. Uh. Bibbidi ba, bibbidi ba. Third generation. Alright. Hmm. I wish I had, like, knowledge of what Taunt did. Or Snatch. Ah, we'll just bite. Confusion, Return, Helping Hand, Reflect. I mean, I'll need to read up on these. Well, let's nuke down his other, his one dude. Get blasted. <laughs> he will get blasted unless he gets a move in. Oh, I like that, like, return, like, uh, recovery animation. Goodbye, Zigzagoon. So far, nice animations. You fool. You dare to tail whip. We must obliterate you. Kill him. Kill him now. My Espeon is grand. Doing lots of damage. Then again, there are Zigzagoons. So it's not like it's super duper impressive. You didn't even land a hit on me. I'm a god. Rider Willy defeated! Tch, wiped out. I still need seasoning. But yeah, you're tough. Real tough. You did a real number on us. Hey, I know. Why not test your skills in Finac City? It's out west of here. You'll find trainers who are way better than me there. You should go out. Get some battling in. Sure thing, dude. Didn't seem like there was much else to do there. Let's stick around quickly, look around. I 
I don't like that watering hole. It looks more like a gasoline hole. But fine, let's go to Phoenix City, a gorgeous jewel of a town that overflows with water and forbidding desert. I like that my Pokemon are in the sidecar. That is adorable and I love it. So obviously this is an oasis. Again! These guys like have a dead body that's breathing, so not dead. Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man! Yeah, you say that, but this it won't stop squirming. Makes it tough to hold on. Okay, okay, settle down in there. Just be quiet for a little while longer. <laughs> Help! Someone let me out! Kidnappers! Tch, that tape didn't keep her ear up shut. Hey, quit your shouting! Oh, Dread, did that punk there hear all that? <laughs> Thud. Since you overheard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your own bad luck. <laughs> they like, oh no, a witness. Shady guy folly. Is it gonna be a one after another? Whims, Wismer and Wismer. I forget your typing. Cause I know you like evolve into Loudred, right? It's been a bit though, so I forget what typing that is, so. Once again, we'll just blast you down quickly as possible. And you're dead. You're a weak fool. I like in the music that's also playing. Ba 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 ba. Nom on that Wizmer. Bite its head off even though it's all head. How dare you hit my boy! I, I forgot to look at my Pokemon's moves, but meh, yeah, but nuke him. So it feels like Espeon is just my obliterator on this team. Granted, <laughs> Umbreon really hasn't had a chance to attack other enemies. Alright, H. Nice! It actually tells you how much it goes by. I forget if that's regular. I think it does, actually. No, I think it is normal. It's been a while since I played a Pokemon game. Like a few months, so br memory is bleh. Player defeated Shady Guy. Gah! You're tougher than you look! And I got $500! Pokey Dollars! Why are they called Pokey Dollars? Are they minted by Pokemon? You took out my Wismer! You're no ordinary trainer, are you? Huh, wait a sec, that face. Might you be... Team Snackums? What, what? What's going on out here? Uh, somebody! Robbers! Robbers, they're robbers! You be quiet! We're no robbers! We're kidnappers, get it? Kidnappers! What, you dingbat! Don't shoot off your mouth! Don't get all happy just on account of winning this once! The next time we meet, I'll trash you, your Pokemon, and all! Oh, yuck, there's someone inside there. God, this is tied good and tight. Can you believe those people? What a horrible thing to do. And apparently we were connected to Team Snagum. In some way. Because they said, wait, your Team Snagums dot dot dot. Which means that we betrayed them? Maybe? Does that make us a criminal? Hmm. Well, we did, <laughs> we did blow things up, so who knows? And yeah, I also find that hilarious. It's like, we're not robbers, we're kidnappers. Taking a... Oh, I need to help. I thought we were still in a cutscene. The sack's mouth is firmly closed with a tightly knotted rope. Undo the knot? Yes. Tugged on the rope, uh, tight, tightly knotted rope. The knot gradually loosened. Neon undid the knot, keeping the sack's mouth closed. Ah, it's the other person from the title screen. Phew, thank goodness. I'm saved. Where is this? Where did those two bring me? This is Finac City, the opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. The way he battled those goons was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, is that so? Thank you, uh, and you are? Oh, so you're named Neon. I am... And I get to name you. <laughs> are you my rival? Uh, I have no... 
I don't really like naming rivals for some reason. I guess we'll just call you Ryu. R Rui? I'm going to name you Yuki instead because I can actually pronounce that. Then again, it would be funny to just have me stumble over your name over and over again. And since, like, the first option, if I am correct, Wes on the player character is considered the canonical name, maybe Rui is as well. So yeah, we'll go with this one. My name's Rui. I'm sure glad I met you. I was in the neighboring town when those two grabbed me. Oh, those guys, did they use a peculiar Pokemon? A peculiar Pokemon? No, they looked ordinary to me. What do you mean by peculiar Pokemon? Oh, no, no, that's fine then. Well, it's easy to see something's on your mind. You should go see your, our mayor for his advice. Why well, go to the mayor? Usually the mayor is a bad guy. Or weird. He's a very kindly person. I'm sure that'll that he'll be able to help you somehow. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square past here. Go up the stairs from the square and it's on your left. The mayor? Yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. Hey, Neon, I know I'm imposing, but I don't have anyone else that I can turn to. Please, can I get you to escort me for a while? Yeah, sure, why not? I don't even know what I'm planning. Thank you, Neon. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If you're with me, Neon, it won't matter if those guys come back again. Thank you. Thanks for joining me for a while. Became a partner. I can now use her as a Pokemon. You know, you two make one attractive couple. It makes me a little envious. <laughs> we literally just met. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square past here. Go up the stairs from the square and it's on your left. I might not have a follower Pokemon, but... Oh, what are you? <laughs> Very interesting. If you're still traveling, you should stock up on supplies at that shop there. I recommend it. After all, it's my... Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, well, anyway, that shop has the best reputation around these parts. You live in your shop? I'm going to assume that this is the mayor's place. Is that a Jigglypuff? Yeah, they said... Wait, they said go up and to the left. So I don't know. We'll just go all over the place. I'm looking for, like, the Pokemon Center. Oh, are you traveling? Uh, I envy you. Is it a journey to become an expert trainer or a quest to meet Pokemon? By the way, you make me jealous. I like the music. It's bopping. What fine weather this is. It's truly a perfect sort of day for a Pokemon battle. So, young one, how about indulging this old man? Let us battle. Hmm. Yeah, sure. I have no reason not to. Fun old man Drig. I sincere hoot hoot. All unevolved po <laughs> So far, I'm the only one who has evolved Pokemon. And I forgot to look at my moves again to understand what they do. Alright. Uh, I forget. What's the interaction between Psychic and Dark again? I'm terrible. Get blasted, Sintrit. Into oblivion. Did not do much. Oh, it flinched, though. Nice. Not the box that turned into a sphere. Because hmm, I assume Hoot Hoot because... Hmm, I don't know. But I guess we'll finish you off and... Uh, I guess we'll see what happens. We'll learn as we go. Nom on that centret. Its defense is no match, it's dead. I like this. So far, this is pleasant. Not hypnosis. Luckily, it missed. And uh, just nom nom. And uh, again, I don't know any of these, so I guess reflect. Stop using confusion just in case. That's a cool animation. I like that. That's neat. I like that a lot. Neat little animations. Just go a long way. I am the Winra. Give me your money, old man. Whoa! I've got to concede this one, lad. 
And I don't even know how much money I got. I'm a fool. Ah, yes. You're young, but you've got quite a bit of spine. Why, you're just like me when I was young. Well done, indeed. Let's see. I need to look at... Uh, let's see. Bite. It is a 60 power. Appeal. And jam. I don't know what that means. Let's see. Snatch. Steals and uses a target's move if it raises stats. Interesting. And then taunt. Taunts the target into only using attack moves. That might be useful if we run into a terrifying enemy. Secret power. An attack that, uh, with effects that vary by location. Eh. Huh. I thought secret power was determined by something with the Pokemon itself, but maybe that's later generations. And ribbons. Meh. Well, let's see. Return. An attack that increases in power with friendship. Meh. Creates a wall that weakens physical attacks and boosts the power of the recipient's moves. Very nice. Alrighty then. But I guess, again, first things first, I want to find the Pokemon Center. Ah, it's right here all the time. Oh, saving. I didn't even realize that saving wasn't there. So I guess we can only save here for some reason. Oh, ah, well. When in Rome... Let's see. Pokemon storage? Do I have any Pokemon in storage? I do not. It's very interesting to see. Item storage? Usually you do, but we don't. So, nothing else here. The shelves are lined with books on Pokemon. The shelves are lined with books on Pokemon. That PC can be used not only to save your progress, but also to access the Pokemon storage system. Things sure have become easy and convenient. You say that when we could save wherever we wanted before in other generations. Hey, big guy, look, look, this is really neat. See, it's a map of Fennec, uh, Fennec City. Isn't it cool? The city's layout is displayed. For a moment, I thought you just entered here. Oh, you must be travelers. Are you Pokemon trainers too? Yes. I knew it. I was certain that you were. Well, if you want to make a record of your progress, you should save on the PC in the back. The PC at any Pokemon Center is available for use at by any trainer. It is kind of interesting because in normal Pokemon games, you can save wherever. I wonder if it was just like a design decision or like a technical decision. I don't know. Hello and welcome. We restore your Todd Pokemon to full health. Would you like to risk your Pokemon? Disappointing that you aren't uh, a Nurse Joy. But that is a neat healing system. Thank you for restoring my Eevees. They are my pride and joy. There was some ruckus going near the town's entrance earlier. It'd be better not to... Uh, better not be those goons again from the next town over. And I guess we'll check out the shop just because we can. Maybe pick up some Pokeballs. I don't have a Pokemon of my own yet, but I come here every day. They have all sorts of Pokemon merchandise here. It's fun to just look even. I want to talk to you, sliding lady. If your Pokemon's hurt and weakened, you should use a potion on it. Every trainer should be carrying at least a potion or two. It's not as if there's always going to be a Pokemon Center when you need one. That's why a potion comes in handy. Indeed. Oh, boo, I keep getting figures that I don't want. Darn, the one I want under that capsule. Gotcha. <laughs> In <laughs> at work. Hello, welcome to our Pokemart. How may I serve you? I can buy potions. I can't buy Pokemons. Heathens. I'll buy three super potions, just in case. And uh, nothing else, I'd say. We look forward to your next visit. Let's go up the stairs. 
An antidote cures poison, paralyzed heal cures paralysis, and awakening wakes a Pokemon from sleep. But if your Pokemon falls asleep in battle, just call out its name. That'll wake it up. It doesn't get cheaper than free. What? But if your Pokemon falls asleep in a battle, just call out its name. Huh. Hello, welcome to our Pokemon Mart. Guard spec, dire hit, now nah, all the things that I never use. I don't care. To catch a wild Pokemon, you need a Pokeball of some sort. That's common knowledge. But as you know, there are no wild Pokemon around these parts. So there's no demand for Pokeballs, meaning nobody sells them. That's common knowledge too. I like that they actually explain that. In in universe reason why there's like no Pokeballs being sold here. Because there's no immediate like need for Pokeballs in the area. But kid, I like the music. Huh? No oh, kid. Oh yeah, it's not the good looking couple from earlier. So what's up? Did you manage to find anything out? Not yet. Is that right? That's gotta be vexing. I know, if it's about Pokemon, there's the pre-gym. It's actually called Prestige Perse uh, Precept Center, but everyone just calls it pre-gym. Pre-gym is a place where skilled trainers work on their own abilities as well as their Pokemon. You'll find many trainers there who are gnarl... 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 My brain is melting. You'll find many trainers there who are knowledgeable about Pokemon. I'm sure they can help you. The pre-gym is on the raised middle part of the town. You should visit there. Interesting. Let's invade people's homes. Would the water, like, sliding over the ceiling, like, be a noise thing or a, like, what's the word? Like a hazard? The Team Snagum doesn't frighten me. After all, where those people are is far away from here. They wouldn't come out here. The thugs of Pyrite Town, they're much more frightening to me. All right, Pyrite Town. Scary. I do like that our ally gets out of the way more often than not so far. There's been nothing but news about Team Snagum on every channel all day long. Usually they'd have at least one channel showing anime or something. Mood, dude. Is it just the same thing? This is a repeat of an earlier news story. A Team Snagum member was arrested after being found hiding in Eklo Canyon after the Snagum hideout explosion. During interrogation, the Snagum member revealed that the explosion resulted from a clash between Snagum members. The explosion apparently destroyed the Snag machine used for stealing Pokemon. However, it is said only the large Snag machine was destroyed. The small portable Snag machine appears to have been taken by Team Snagum member who blew up the Snagum hideout. Well, that gives us some insight into who we are. So we are a member of Team Snagum, who crippled the main team's ability to steal Pokemon, but took the portable one for ourselves. Um, I I really look up to Justy, the leader of Pre-Gym. He's really cool. Of course, he's a really tough trainer at Pokemon battles, too. What be this building? Or is this... Huh. Let's see, all Pokemon have types and abilities, but combinations of those elements affect the balance of power in battle. Gah! I'm not the type that does his thinking in my head, so I'm stumped by stuff like this. I figure if I just keep battling, that sort of stuff will be conditioned into me. I can't believe they put me in this game. Pokemon gain experience by winning battles. Once they gain enough experience, they level up. By leveling up Pokemon, learn, by leveling up, Pokemon learn all sorts of different moves. It's up to the trainer to mix and match those moves to suit the opponent. That's how trainers can show off their skills. When you get into a Pokemon battle, think about the their order. It's important to think about which one should come out first and so on. When you carry more Pokemon with you, you should pay attention to their ordering. Now pay attention. One does not become a good trainer simply by battling without strategy. Oh, I see a little cute Pikachu there. It's the old fat Pikachu. A good trainer always thinks about the Pokemon that are in battle. Oh, you must be a trainer too. Are you listening in on my class? Since you're here, I have something to hear that might like uh, you might like. May I see your PDA, please? Oh, that's a Pokemon Digital Assistant, or PDA for short. Neon, you have one too, don't you? Show the PDA. Here you go. I've upgraded it and added the strategy memo function. You'll be able to check the types and abilities of the Pokemon you've met at a glance. Come see me whenever you like, and I'll update your PDA with detailed data on the Pokemon you've met. I hope you make good use of the strategy memo as you aim to be a great trainer. Neat. 
Hi! Welcome to Pre-Gym. This is a place for trainers and Pokemon to not only sharpen their strength and skills, but also their body and spirit. Huh, so this is Pre-Gym. I thought it was gonna be the place that's like straight up from here. So I think this is the mayor's place, or maybe beyond. That large house is the mayor's home. If something concerns you while you're traveling, you should visit the mayor for his advice. And the door is still gone. Haunting us all with its absence. This town was peaceful before, but lately it's been turning rougher. It's because of the thugs that live in Pyrite Town, which is the next town over. They've been showing up here. I don't want to have anything to do with them. Let sleeping dogs lie, that's what I say. And who will be in this building? Hello, are you travelers? Don't you think Fnac City is a very nice place? But if you're thinking about going on, you should be careful. There's a town called Pyrite ahead. That place is filled with thugs and other nasty people. A long time ago, this place's area was barren of life. Neither people nor Pokemon could live on this blighted land. It was the mayor's grandfather, the first mayor who founded Fenac by drawing water to this parched land. I feel like that's nepotism. Also, is that a Gardevoir I see there? You have good, chase, <laughs> good taste in decor. And I can come here. Who are you? I'm no good at schoolwork, but I'm pretty hot stuff at Pokemon battles. You're a trainer too, aren't you? Let's duke it out! Let's battle! All right, here we come, and there's no holding back. Roller boy, Cabe. I will kill him. I feel like your Wurmple should have evolved by now. We will kill them. I forget. Bug type is strong against Psychic, right? I don't know which one is scarier. And I shall use Helping Hand. Cool effect. Get nommed, idiot. Almost leveled up. Not the tackle attack. You bruise my. Out of all of them, Espeon looks the most cat like. Let's see. And there, yeah, let's use return, why not? See how strong it is. With the power of hearts, we murder you. Silly roller boy, you failed your Pokemon. They died because of you. Ouch, no! That wasn't supposed to happen. I stole his sneaker money. <laughs> I didn't think I'd lose. Big guy, you're tough. I want you to have this since you're so good. TM41. I wonder what that'd be. Torment! <laughs> Is that kid implying that I tormented him? Prevents the target from using the same move in a row. Interesting. That amuses me greatly. I do kind of like that the building's doors stay open to kind of be like, Hey, you've been here before. I'm gonna quickly come up here just to look and see. Hmm. Hi! Did you know? No. They say that Team Snagum's hideout was blown up! Who could have done such a thing? Me! Prudin. Hello, Jigglypuff. Well, I guess we'll go talk to the mayor and then I guess we'll check out Pre-Gem. Who is this Final Fantasy motherfucker? Hmm. I'd guess you're a traveling trainer. Hmm. I like what I see in your expression. 
<laughs> I have a feeling I may see you again somewhere. Who the fuck? Okie dokie. Mind playing Yokai Watch? I do not have Yokai Watch. It's not really on my list of immediate to plays. Maybe in the future, it does seem decently interesting. Ah, you must be travelers! Welcome to Finnax City! I'm Escade, the mayor, and you're one rotund boy with, like, clown hair. Weirdo. Now, you wanted to see me. Is there something that I may be able to assist you with? I was kidnapped, Mr. Mayor. Oh, what may I do for a pretty young lady like you? Uh, he, uh, I, I just realized something. Why does he have a, like, a set of stairs engraved into the wall? Or is that meant to be like tracing to the big computer, like a power cable? I don't know. <laughs> it just weird. I don't even know what to make of that. It just seems weird. I, I saw it. Sight? And what did you see? I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's not quite right. What I saw was a Pokemon that gave off a black aura. It was like a fighting machine. And that Pokemon would attack people. Oh, oh my! Pokemon like a fighting machine? And it attacks people? Now if that were true, that'd be truly frightening. However, it is a little hard to believe. It's true, it's true, Mr. Mayor. Because I saw that Pokemon, I was made the prisoner of some frightening men until just a little while ago. Hmm, I see. I understand. I will order an investigation at once. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I don't trust him because he had a meeting with that Final Fantasy lucky dude. That absolute unit of an anime character. This guy's not to be trusted. Oh, no, no, there's no need for thanks. We mustn't allow thugs to do as they wish, especially thugs that endanger a pretty young lady like you. I'll ask that you give me a little time on this matter. I promise I will get some useful information for you soon. Oh, yes, uh, you appear to be a Pokemon trainer yourselves. If so, I urge you to visit our city's pride and joy, our Pokemon Stadium. It's a breathtakingly beautiful stadium befitting our oasis city. Don't you mean Coliseum? Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, what is this, computer? I'm gonna go up your stairs and invade your home. Is that just like a... Why is... Oh, I guess it's a bed. I, why are you here? Oh, hi. Aren't you a cute guy? <laughs> it must be nice to travel with a cute girlfriend. Alright, this place is already weird. Let's leave. Now, I guess... I'm going to assume that the Coliseum is the, or the stadium is the up place, so let's, I don't know. But since it's urging me to go to the stadium, I'll check out this place a bit more. Hello, I'm Justy. I'm in charge of running the pre-gym. Judging by your appearance, I'd say that you're traveling, the two of you. Well, what do you think? Since you're already here, do you feel like having a battle? You'll probably kick my ass, but sure. Okay, then let me introduce you to the trainers of pre-gym. When you're ready to go, go to the battle area at the center and stand at the left-hand side. Interesting. And nobody else? So let's go and stand on the left-hand side. Neon, go for it! I'll be right here cheering! Looks like you're ready. Well, let's get this started. In all, you'll be facing four trainers. They're all a handful, I can vouch for that. And now, this is where your opponent enters. They come out of a giant Pokeball. An elevator. That's a, that amuses me. Do you feel like taking on some grass-type Pokemon? Then I'm the one you want. Botan wants to battle. This is not the stadium we were just in. Sunken and Hoppip. Go, my evolutions! We will destroy them! I love the music in this game. It's so just going. Hmm. We'll focus down Sunkering just because we can. 
Ah, you're dead. Goodbye. Espion is just my nuker. They're so good at just obliterating everything in their path. No more on that hop hip. Make him die. Turn him into a salad. Good job, Umbreon. You lived up to Espeon's standard. How do you like that? You're more than strong enough. And I won money from a child. I'm going to toughen up some more. I hope you keep working too. Now go back to the dungeon, Boten. The dungeon of hell. Joe, what's your plan? Do you keep on chugging with your battle challenge? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Let's get the next battle started. Leave water type battling to me. I'll teach you just how strong the water type can be. You're no Misty. You're named Liquid. Sure. A Surskit and Meryl. We must obliterate them. At least so far, I don't see any, like, type disadvantage for me. Get rid of that Surskit and you can go after the Meryl. Confusion! <laughs> the poor Meryl got flipped! Well, I'll give you this. Your Pokemon are stronger than the last guy's. Not the bubbles. Not the bubbles. That did nothing. Oh, but it did lower my speed. Oh, bubbles is an all-encompassing move. All right. Interesting. You jerk. Quit hitting my dog. Sure, I sent him out to battle, but that's no excuse for you to be mean. Yeah, I guess we'll just blast Meryl away, and then if it dies, the move will move on to Sir Skip. Bye-bye, Meryl. You use agility? You dare lower my Umbreon speed, then rise your own? You monster. You are not going to survive this day. I guess secret power just because we can, and then return to save on Diddly Day. Why would you use agility? You're going to die. I will make my ability to run faster better before this bullet catches me. I like the animation in this game so far. It adds personality. I defeated Cool Trainer Liqui. I was impressed by your Pokemon. Is that why you're sobbing into your hands? It's like, <laughs> I was impressed by your Pokemon. <laughs> My goal is to become the ultimate water type battler. But back to more training for me. At least it makes sense why there'd be a water type trainer here in an oasis in the middle of a desert. So, what's your plan? Do you keep chugging on with your battle challenge? I do! Okay, gotcha. Let's get this next battle underway. Are you the kid that was out front? Is it you? Do you did you want to battle me? You don't look like a trainer. You bastard! Well, it doesn't matter. You can learn how a proper trainer battles from me. I am going to drown you, rich boy. What, do you have just, like, ground types? Trapinch and Swinub. I forget what Trapinch's typing is. Isn't Swinub's typing ice normal? I forget. I am terrible with typing. I've, Despite all of the Pokemon games that I have played, typing is not my, like, <laughs> my forte. We will annihilate the Swinub first, and then move on to the Trapinch. Bye-bye, Swinub. You will become a mammoth someday, but not this day. 
Goodbye. Sand tomb. That <laughs> okay, that's horrifying. And did decent damage to my poor Espeon. Was trapped in sand tomb? Oh no. Why is it sand tomb and not... Well, I guess sand... Because there's sand attack. You'd think that that would be... I guess sand storm is the full... Like, arena one. Where every Pokemon gets attacked by the sand storm. Sand tomb is like a... Single Pokemon version of that, I guess. Blast the trap inch. Its face looks like a partly cracked egg. So we bit it with a bite effect that looks like its teeth head. Goodbye, trap inch. You know it's gonna be a scary day when one of these Pokemon throws out a second Pokemon after we make one faint. You're tough, even though you don't look it. I am literally a part of a gang. Do I not look like it? Well, I guess I was part of a gang. The way you battle is, uh, interesting. You might say it's unique, or maybe it's just chaotic. What do you mean? I beat you through normal means. Well, I'll wish you the best of luck. You are a weird child. Throw him into the sandstorm. Make him suffer. So what's your plan? I'll keep chugging. Let's get the next battle started. A rich lady or a rich girl or whatever. Your challenge is accepted. I do hope you're ready. Lady Gwyn would like to battle. Geodude and Rhyhorn. Uh-huh. Okay, I don't think I have anything good for this. Would the rock types resist... Bite? I think it would. Rhyhorn! Get confused and throw yourself into the water. I feel like these guys are gonna do major damage to my boy. Ah, oh, I died. Good. Dark type. Not resisted by rock. And it got good experience for me. Not rock throw. Who are you throwing it at? My boy! My poor boy. Well, uh, you'll be annihilated for your sins against humanity. Kill him. How dare the rock throw rocks. It's just not right. That's like if a person threw a person as an attack. We built this catapult to throw people. Lady Gwyn defeated. I must commend you for a battle well played. You're one of the few to actually land a hit on my Pokemon, how dare you. My battling style must have been too sophisticated for you. I'm sorry, that, that, that sounds like that would be your winning line. Like you'd say that after you win. Why are you saying it after you lost? What? Oh, my battling style is too sophisticated for a ruffian like you. I guess that's why I lost. That that basically means that you being sophisticated is bad. You are a fool! Well, that was inspiring. You showed me a great battle. It deserves a gift. I want you to have this. The White Herb! I have weed! You don't have a full party of Pokemon yet. When you get six of them, I'd like you to come see me again. That's when I'll be your opponent. I'll be looking forward to it. Interesting, because usually Pokemon gyms are like, eh, screw it, anyone at any time. But we gotta go heal our Pokemon. And then we'll go to the arena, stadium, Colosseum. Heal my Pokemon. They did lots of murder. Ba, 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 ba. Well, 
Well, since we beat the pre-gym, we shall save. And we shall go to the stadium as the dude doth said. Again, the mayor that I just, I do not trust. I don't trust the mayor. <laughs> that anime Sephiroth looking dude just came out of there. And I don't trust him. Man, there's just so many good Pokemon to choose from out there. Like, the more I forget, <laughs> like, I'll think of some, forget others. Like, the Zoroark line, Zoroa, Zoroark, Hisuian, Zor Zora, and Zoroark, Lucario, there's so many good Pokemon. Not to mention the number of, like, uh, well, this place seems ominous. Isn't this city stadium amazing? I wish I could soon battle at a stadium as fabulous as this one. Welcome to the Finex Stadium. This is where we register trainers for challenges. However, the current challenge has already started, so we're no longer accepting trainers for this challenge. Please come back in the next time. Alright. Works for me. It doesn't appear as if it can be opened yet. Then why did the mayor send me here? He said, why don't you go looky? Hi. Are you here to take part in the challenge too? Yes. Well, yeah. Well, me too. I came here hoping to participate in the challenge. Uh, but I was disappointed. By the time I arrived, the challenge had already started. I wanted to win this knockout challenge. I would have liked to win the cash prize in the technical machine. Hmm. What Pokemon do you think is overrated? I don't know. Alright, that's kind of interesting. Groudon's a poster in this. Huh. Next to, like, normal Pokemon. But, yeah, overrated Pokemon? I don't know. Like... The closest I can maybe think of is maybe Charizard, but even then, Charizard is a cool design. It's probably just that it's probably less overrated and more oversaturated for Charizard. I think some people would say that Pikachu is overrated, but I don't know. Pikachu's nice. Hey, Neon, we finally found you, you filthy double-crossing traitor! Wrecking the hideout wasn't good enough for you! So you rip off the snag machine? You've got some nerve. Who are these people, huh? Are they Team Snagum? And what did they mean by traitor? Neon, you mean? That's right, pretty lady. He's from Team Snagum, just like us. But he's no ordinary member. He's a snagger. He's the best in Team Snagum at snagging Pokemon without fail. No way. Is it true, Neon? It is. Oh, so it is true. That's a little shocking. Hey, Neon. Come on, hand it over. Give back the snag machine you ripped off from the hideout. Snag machine? Neon, do you really have something like that? The snag machine's built for trainers. When a trainer puts the snag machine on, their Pokeballs are converted. Ordinary Pokeballs are turned into snag balls that can steal Pokemon from their trainers in battle. Hey, you blabbermouth! Keep that stuff secret! That makes me wonder what, like, the big snag machine was. Because the news report stated that there were two snag machines. The portable one that's like the pauldron gauntlet there. But then there was, like, a big one. I guess if you take somebody's Pokemon and Pokeballs, or maybe just their Pokemon, you could shove them through the big one to snag them. But this one's more efficient and uses Pokeballs for stealing. Who knows? I get it, Neon. That's why these creeps are chasing after you. Creeps? What do you mean by creeps? God, this is getting us nowhere. If you won't give it up willingly, we'll take it back by force! Team Snaggo Wacken would like to battle. Cawfish and coffee! Again, my I'm terrible with typing, so poison should be affected by psychic, right? It's like every single time I take a break from Pokemon, my brain goes, let's see, uh, what goes where? Super effective! Goodbye, coughing. Oh god, his pupils disappeared. He died. Level up!
I do find it kind of amusing, though, that we took the snag device, but we didn't grab any Pokeballs. So... Not Vice Grip. Leave my Pokemon alone! My boy! Umbreon is just a frickin' tank. Eat that fish alive! With the power of love! Bye-bye, Corfish. Corfish, Corfish, Corfish. I like Corfish. From the anime. I don't think... Hmm. Did I pass up on using Corfish in my Emerald playthrough? It's been a while. No! I'm not good enough! Of course you're not. You're a skinhead. Well, then again, you're not really about Pokemon supremacy. You're just like a thief. You're an asshole. Blast you, Neon! Don't think this is over! We're going to get that snag machine back. Just you wait! And then they just kind of slouch away. Well, what do you know, Neon? So you're from Team Snagum. Oh, right. To be accurate, I should say former Team Snagum. It's okay. Neon, it doesn't matter to me who you are. You just met me today. Sure, I saved you from kidnapping, but that's only after watching, uh, like, kidnappers drive away with a writhing bag in their cart, and then I just happened to come to the same city as they did, and they just decided to pick a fight with me. After all, you're my gallant prince who rescued me when I was in trouble, so it doesn't matter. Besides, I thought up something after I listened to those creeps. Listen, Neon, we should go shopping for some Pokeballs. You want me to steal? <laughs> hey, you have that snag device? Let's go steal all the Pokemon! So does that mean that we're gonna have to go back to the Pokemart for them to just be like, Oh yeah, we don't have any Pokeballs. And like, what? No Pokeballs? The guy upstairs saying, yeah, this is a uh, normal. Because we already know that they don't have Pokeballs. But I guess we can talk to the guy. Just to activate it again, just in case. No one says because, this is just common, and blah blah blah. And I double tapped it so it went too fast. Hmm, I wonder if this means the game wants me to go to Pyrite Town. Considering that the game said... Basically, the game is saying, hey, go get Pokeballs. But we can't get Pokeballs in this town. Maybe we should go back to the mayor. Yo, what's up? Pokemon is up. I promise you we obtain information. While we do, I so heartily recommend that you visit our stadium. This, well, we did, and uh, we got... <laughs> Some guys came up trying to steal from me after I stole from them. Let's see. Mm, nope. Game says stay here. Hmm. Wonder if I need to, like, talk to somebody in specific. Oh, hey, the door's all reset because I left. Maybe I need to go to the pre-gym? Hmm. Nope. I forgot to use the the the, the diddly d. Let's take a look at the PDA. What is this memo thing? Display data on all Pokemon you've met so far. Interesting. Water type, psychic type, normal flying. I guess that kind of replaces the Pokedex for this. Hmm. I'm just trying to wonder what character I need to talk to to activate the... Yo, you want to get Pokeballs? This is where you go to get Pokeballs. I remember I stayed up late playing this game. My best Pokemon was a high-level Ludicolo. Neat. Oh, maybe, maybe I need to talk to this guy again. He seems to be full of hints. So, what's up? Did you manage to find anything out? Yes. Is that right? Well, that's great then, huh? Nope. Because he just, I think, recommended we go to the pre-gym. Maybe we could go back to the... the train? Oh, you two. We just noticed about the truck that was here is gone. Those thugs must have come back and taken off with it. I bet they came from Pyrite Town. I'm sure of it. Hmm. I guess since I have no idea what to do here, let us move back to the train and see... Darn it, she took the place of my Pokemon! 
My Eevee and- Not Eevee. My Espeon and Umbreon had that tr sidecar. Don you, Rui. Don you. Listen, pal. If you're intending to travel some more, you might want to stock up on some flies here. Oh, hey, can I ask you something? Don't you sell any Pokeballs? Huh? Pokeballs, you say? There's no call for those things around these parts. Where'd I put them now? Oh yeah, here they are, a little dusty, I'm afraid, but otherwise they're perfectly usable. Here, take them. I'll let you have them for free. Thank you, dude. You're cool. I like you. Well, since I found them, I may just as well put them out with the rest of my merchandise. If you need some more, help. Well, how about buying some from me? Sure thing, my dude. What you gotta sell? I'll take some. You even sell great balls! Neato! That motorcycle is crazy. It is a cool design. It is a nice design. Buy a few more. Cause why not? Uh, no thank you. Alright then, come back sometime. Hello dude. Oh hey, it's you. I was worried about you. Some rough looking characters came around asking about you. It made me worried. Those guys, they look like they're from Team Snagum. Thank you, dude. I like these you like, hey, you'd be on the lookout. How can it balance on one wheel? Well, that, uh, the kidnapper's cart obviously uses anti-gravity, so... Same thing with the sidecar on this. It uses, like, a little hover thing you see there. No idea about, like, just the absolute diesel engine. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, it's you two. Something terrible is happening. A whole lot of scary men came here. I think I even saw those two creeps who took off in the truck earlier. What do you gotta say? Hey, you two! There's serious trouble. Those thugs came back with help. I think they went off towards the, what we call the pre-gym. Well, let's see. Are my Pokemon in good shape? They do seem to be. Alright then. Let's go kick some ass. Let's go to the Pokemon Center and save first before we go to kick some ass. Ba 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 ba. Activation. Let's go beat up some pyrite guys. You know, I just realized I forgot to comment on it, but, uh, probably because I already know that this game has, like, Shadow Pokemon. But what even is a Shadow Pokemon? Obviously, she was talking about, like, a Pokemon that had a scary aura and, like, became, a, like, a, a danger to humans fighting machine. So I wonder, I wonder. I saw a bunch of scary-looking people going towards the mayor's house. But it don't matter if those guys do something bad. I'm sure Justy won't let them get away with anything. Well, let's go talk to Justy, then. Maybe. You don't have a full party yet. That's when I'll be your opponent. <laughs> he doesn't care at all. <laughs> he doesn't care at all. I had a friend who called Pikachu Pikachu. Yeah, phonetically kind of similar. Well, let's go and see. Are they here to beat up the bear or what? Are they working with him? <laughs> oh, it's you! It's the Disco Man! Ow! Master B! Master Mirror B! It's it's him! He's the one that took the girl from us! Oh now, aren't you boys frightfully pathetic? You mean to tell me you were bested by these darling infants? Darling, did you say your name was Neon or something? I so don't like saying this, but we're not at liberty to keep your lady friend at liberty. That sweet young thing, she can see things that ordinary people aren't supposed to see. That's just will not do for what we are planning to do. Now, it just won't do at all. If you don't like pain, like most people, you can avoid the pain by keeping your nose out of places it need be. Boys, oh boys! Yes, yes we will, and why does he have, like, a Power Ranger team with him? Boys, I shall make my return to Pyrite right now. Do remember that I will be waiting for you to return with the little lady. Am I making myself clear? I won't accept failure from you again, boys. 
Let the music spin. Let's get it on. Rigo. <laughs> And then his quirky mini boss squad just walked away. Michael Jackson got hit by a Pikachu. I could believe it. You, you, you! The last time you caught me off guard, that's not gonna happen again. What, did you get new Pokemon? Also, this building got bigger. And the TV disappeared. So, do you have three Pokemon now, or did you just trade out one of your Wizmer? Go, Umbreon, Espeon, we've got a loser to kill. Nope, <laughs> he actually just swapped out one Wizmer for a Lotad. You're a weird little man. Blast away the Wizmer. Psychic, well not psychic, confusion. Oh, critical hit, neat. Bye bye. And now numb on the salad man. I like that hit reaction animation. It's very nice. Lotad is floaty. I didn't know that. What's that move again? I growl, I say, I guess. How dare you growl at my delicious Pokemon. Kill him. Kill him now. I should have used return. My bad. Then again, it doesn't really matter. How did the room get so big? That's what I'm wondering! It's like Pokemon trainers have a special ability to just, like, alter a battlefield to fit a Pokemon battle. Domain expansion. Pokemon Coliseum. Ah, uh, blast it! I got tripped up again! Is your friend gonna battle me this time? My turn now. I'm not going to end up like Folly. You don't even have a name. Well, now you do. Mirror B. Peon. Trudley. <laughs> Spawning an empty room. Ooh, Duskull. I like Duskull. Too bad you're probably going to die, because I believe Ghost Type is weak to Psychic. Again, I should have memorized, like, the, like, the type matchups by now. But I am but a fool. Confusion! But again, also, aren't they weak to dark type too? Critical hit. Either way, it's dead. Lol. Bye bye, little man. Oh god, he deflated! How horrifying. Oh, he has two! Oh. Espeon is just gonna be carrying us, huh? What? <laughs> just anime. <laughs> Neon, it's that one! That Pokemon! Just, I just had to talk about that, like, voice that in case it just went away. But, like, anime zoom in on face. That, those jerks captured me because I saw that Pokemon! I can see a black aura coming from it. They must have done something to that Pokemon! It tried to hit me?! What? What? That would be an interesting game mechanic if criminal organization members would have their Pokemon attack the trainer and the trainer had a health bar. That would actually be a cool mechanic. I don't think it's a mechanic. I think it was just tutorializing. Be careful. This Pokemon isn't afraid to attack people. I know, Neon. I hate to say this, but there's no other choice. Get that Pokemon back from the bad guys. Please, you have to. You can... Actually, only you can do it. Yeah. So I can't exactly use my confusion on Makuhita because that would probably obliterate him. We're going to finish off the Spinarak and return. Please don't get a crit. In this game, Duskull is a bird who <laughs> with, <laughs> with no leg, no beak, and is a skeleton for Halloween. Kind of does look like it. For like the split second we got it, <laughs> got to see it before it just went poof. Bye-bye, Spinarak. Shadow Rush. You bastard. Why did you hit my cat dog? Don't kill yourself. I need to steal you. Go. Great ball. 
Yes, capture that one. Oh, and then we get to do other things. Uh, reflect. Ooh, animation time! Snag ball! The animation is like, the ball becomes a hand to grab it. That's cool. Haha! <laughs> Makuhita has been caught! Now I have three Pokemon. Player defeated, Mira BP on Shrudley. What? My Pokemon! I wonder if it's a guaranteed capture of that Makuhita for this tutorializing. Darn it, but you're good. You snagged my Pokemon! Hey, what are you saying? You're not supposed to be impressed! Oh man, what are we supposed to do? We got flattened again! Mira B's gonna chew us out! What do we do? What is there to do? RUN AWAY! Hit the dead Pull the... the J Jonathan Josta. You did it, Neon! You snagged that Pokemon for that goon! But I'm sure there are others like it. Let's get all of them back from the bad guys! When Pokemon faint in this game, they try to res uh, resemble it in the IRL, for example, Spinrek curls up. Yeah, I can see that. At least for some of them. Obviously, the they have like that specific kind of inspiration for like what the feigning animation is. I assume that this is flashing because new things. We just received breaking news. According to the arrested Snagga member, the smaller Snag machine is compact enough to be carried by a single person. Wearing this machine transforms ordinary Pokeballs into Snag Balls. A Snag Ball is an alarming device. It can actually steal Pokemon from their trainers. It is hoped that the missing Snagga machine will not be used for criminal purposes again. Exactly. Hey, Mayor, are you up here? Where, where the fuck did the Mayor go? And she just didn't acknowledge it at all. <laughs> What, did they eat the mare? Where'd he go? I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center before I talk to that green guy. I'm gonna guess that there's one of those guys at each of the exits to this place. Oh, but before we do that, let's take a look at the Makuhita. Summary. Unknown nature. Guts ups attack if if suffering <laughs> if suffering Shadow Rush and unknown moves This can't be used because the heart's door is shut What That is ominous What do you mean the heart's door is shut? <laughs> There's just Pokemon Go snagging Pokemon Pokemon Go, Stealing Edition. <laughs> oh, neat! It actually showed the Great Ball in there. And of course, we're gonna heal. Or, heal, yes. <laughs> we're gonna heal again. But we are going to save. Just in case something happens. And the, the like those guys guarding the exits. Shadow Pokemon, restoring them. We have to open up their hearts again. Well, I guess maybe talk to you. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not going to let you pass. Or do you have this idea that you can take me in a battle? Yes. <laughs> Who's going to beat me? You are. Don't be crying out of regret later. Mystery Troop Bluno would like to battle. Alright, you're basically on the same level as me when it comes to the... Well, one of your Pokemon's on the same level as me, it seems. That girl's just Misty in her 20s. I could see it, maybe. Oh, one of them's Shadow Pokemon? Ooh, Crocknaz! Boo, yeah! Let's see. Weaken him. And Blast Grimer. Get him out of here. Super effective! Be gone! Spoink! Adorable Spoink. Hmm. That's not good. 
Oh, it flinched. That's very good. Uh, bite Krokna again and uh, return the Spoink because I think it's Psychic type, so Psychic sh or Confusion shouldn't be that good. Get Spoinked, idiot! The Pokemon that is not shot is probably suffering by the goons. It's like, yeah, if they... Whatever they did to make the Pokemon's heart closed off... Yeah, is kind of a terrifying prospect to what they're doing to the other Pokemon. It doesn't affect Ms. Magius. And, of course, uh, return the Spoink, smack him up a bit. Oh, it's crying as it faints! Oh, that's sad! And now it should be prime time for capturing! Oh no. You bastard, leave my darling dogs alone! And also, do not commit suicide, I need to capture you! Great ball! Go! And, uh... Oh, call! I can call out to my Pokémon, interesting. Power of Yvatel or something, that's how they get shadowed. But Yvatel didn't exist at this point. That's like... Uh, generation four, five, like three generations ahead. Krokna is now mine! <laughs> Mystery Troop Bluno defeated! You, you're tough! Trudling Folly can't be blamed for losing! What was that strange Pokemon? Oh, <laughs> I thought Bluna was talking. What was that strange Pokemon? What did you people do to it? That? It's a Pokemon that we turned into a fighting machine by artificially closing the door to its heart. No, you didn't! You artificially closed the door to that poor Pokemon's heart? Huh, <laughs> knowing that's not going to help you do anything. Then <laughs> he just yeeted away. I know, when I was little I heard about that. They say that if any Pokemon closes the door to its heart, it can gradually reopen it by battling together with it. Neon, let's go. Let's go. Those guys are probably headed for Pyrite Town. After all, it was Pyrite that they captured me. We just gotta go heal, save again, and see if the other guys are still about, because... More than likely, it's just a single battle that's, like, spread across three guys, but just in case. Pokemans? Pokemans indeed. And I'm liking this so far. It's interesting. It has an interesting, like, uh, beginning to it compared to other Pokemon games, which is, like, really cool. And it, two of my favorite Pokemon are, like, the starters. Espeon and Umbreon. I like it. I like it. I like it. So, yeah, let's see if the red guy, or was it a green guy, if one of the other Power Rangers is still up there. If so, I'm gonna battle them all. Nope, I'm going to guess that it was a single battle spread across three guys, although... I guess it's also possible that, in actuality, it's like three different battles, and whichever one you choose to fight gives you a different Shadow Pokémon? The Bast Theory Shadow Lugio makes the Pokémon Shadow. I know that, like, uh... Gales of Darkness XD also exists. I've yet to get there yet. Because it's a sequel to this game, I believe. Construction lot. The construction site for an immense tower, which will have a coliseum on the top floor. I'm still sad that my Umbreon and my Espeon are no longer in the sidecar. Construction site, you say? Yeah, that is pretty construction. <laughs> but that's just a theory. A game theory! <laughs> Please continue watching! Well, hold it there. This is a construction site. It's not a safe place to be. This is no place for tourists to visit. Go on, scram. Yep, it's been a mighty long time. Can't rightly recall when it was that when I was last home. But we're just about done here. All that's left is to clean up the site and we're done. Interesting. Ah, I've been working hard, I have. Let me tell you, making this here huge tower is one massive job. It's hard to imagine, even for me. Yeah, I'll come back to visit when we're all done here. There'll be a coliseum on top of the tower. Amazing stuff. 
Oh, don't tell me that that's like the battle frontier for this game. The battle frontier was so bleg in Emerald. Welcome back, Pokey fans, to Game Theory. It'll be ten times as adorable if, like, Umbreon and S. What the fuck? The Incredible Hulk is back there? <laughs> the shoulders on that guy! Man, it would be so adorable if, like, Umbreon and Espeon were just in the sidecar with Ri Rui. Ah, oh, Mr. Johnson, give a man a break here. I keep telling you, I don't know anything. That better be true, Kale. If you're trying to con me, I'll know about it. Mr. Johnson, sir, I wouldn't think about lying to you. You gotta believe me, right? All right, fine. I'll let you off easy today. See you. The face on that guy's horrifying. <laughs> what a nitwit. Of course I haven't got a thing to tell you. <laughs> Using a psychic type to move the rocks. Or like metal. Who needs like a Machamp when you've got an Espeon? What are you looking at? I haven't seen your faces in these parts. What are you, tourists? If you don't want to get hurt, you should get lost and quick for good of your health. <laughs> Nope, just the same thing over and over again. Fortune telling. Hmm. This is Pyrite, the town of earth, wind, and money. You appear to be outsiders. You had best beware. There are many ne'er do wells, sorts here. I like the music that's playing. It's like smooth. Those those glasses seem highly inefficient. People call Fatine the mother of Pyrite. Her ability as a fortune teller is highly regarded. Why don't just... Just a while ago, she even determined where my wife is living since she left me. <laughs> Man, sucks to be you. Find what you seek, be it an object, person, or luck. Welcome to Fatine's fortune telling chamber. I am Fatine. If ever a problem clouds your brow, you shall come to me. Whatever your problem may be, my fortune telling shall lead you to the solution. I'm going to guess that you are the hint machine in this game. If I get lost, I come to you and you're like, Oh, you need to get your ass to Pyrite Town. But I am in Pyrite Town. Haha, <laughs> sucker. What the? Fuck. Ow, ow, ow. I'm sorry, Chief, but there's trouble afoot. You see, Chief, there's talk that thugs have been witnessed using strange Pokemon. Huh, Chief? You're not the chief. I beg your pardon. I'm here, Johnson. That story isn't new. I've heard about it over and over already. Oh, oh, chief. Oh, there you are. You're such a kidder. <laughs> Weirdo. Oh, hey. Safe station. Oh, hey, it's my boss. It's Gonzap. Gonzap? What kind of name is that? Gonzap. Team Snagum's boss. And thus also my boss. Former. Save since we're here. My name's Shows. I'm the chief of police in this town. Are you two travelers? We are. I see. Well, whether you are or not, it would be best if you were to get out of the town as soon as possible. This town's descended into a state of lawless chaos. I couldn't guarantee your safety if anything were to happen. Thank you for the warning, dude. I'm Johnson. I'm the law around here. It's my job to uphold the peace in this town. And apparently you don't do a good job about it. Huh. You thugs must be mere bees newest recruits. Well, shoo, beat it. I don't have any money to give you likes of you. We should beat him up anyway. For funsies. Are you trying to sell me something? Well, sorry, I don't need anything. Please leave. The most realistic thing about entering somebody's home unprompted. Pyrite Town's always had a history as a rough town, with all the muscle-bound roughnecks about. That's not a surprise. But when Duking was in charge, there wasn't any of this lawlessness that you see today. What's come over Duking? Maybe he went Duking crazy. Oh no, not the sh op. Potion, Paralyze Heal, that's all sorts of stuff I want, but I don't have the money. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't have any Pokemon anyway. You're an idiot. Psst, listen. 
If you were to offer ten potions for ten pounds, would you want them? I wouldn't believe you. Oh, you've no spirit of fun. Well, I guess we'll give them anyway. If there was a deal that good, I'd keep it to myself. <laughs> Why do you exist but to torture me? Hello, welcome to our Pokemart. How may I serve you? Hyper potions already? What? And revives. Uh huh. This boats poorly. I don't even think I need hyper potions yet. And you don't even sell any Pokeballs. Why are there just like Pokemon branded paint cans? And that's like all that they're selling. <laughs> uh. Weirdo? Yo, your outfit's kind of weird, but you're a trainer too, aren't you? Good, that's okay then. I'll teach you about one of the few rules this town has. Here, we have street battles rather than exchanging greetings. <laughs> Alright then, Chaser Calda. Centret and Taylo! Go! Adorable Taylo. I need to move my Pokemon around so I can get some unlocking of the heart in for my shadow Pokemon. Hmm, you have three, huh? Then I guess we'll do even damage to some of your Pokemon to let that third one come out. Well, that's kind of trippy! That was some trippy animation there! Confusion! Make the bird fly into a window! Never mind, it just died! Slack off! I almost half of half expected it to become a shadow Pokemon. Luckily, I have nothing for you to steal. You did one point of damage, you idiot. You fool. You utter buffoon. You meringue. Dominate that poor slack off's mind. As it just wallows on the floor like a fool. Bye bye, Sintrit. You are now dead. Not amnesia. He'll lead us all down a dark descent. Eh, ah, secret power in case. And return! Blast him to Kingdom Come! With the power of love! All villains say the word buffoon. Nah, more of like the villains say the word fool. You fools! You foolishly fool to follow the fool. I defeated Calder. Whoops, you are better than me. I tripped myself up, but you're not bad at all. Your Pokemon are tops too. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. You're just like us. It's easy to see. Well, I do enjoy Pokemon battling. Let's see. Oh, you have an item! Uh, deposit. Mystic Water. I'm going to, uh, hmm. I'll swap you there so that Espeon can level up some more. But what is that Mystic Water? Oh, and White Herb. Hold item that restores any lowered stat, and I think it's a use one. A hold item that raises the power of water moves. I don't want to use it. That's a very handy thing to give a Croknoff. You're obviously going to be like a Pokemon battler. Hotel! Ah, boy, that was a good sleep. I must have slept through all last week. I was totally exhausted from the tower construction job. Apparently some fabulously rich guy had the tower built. It's amazing stuff. We can just invade people's rooms. Okay, tackle now. No, don't get confused. Just 
investigate all these places. It wasn't that long ago when Duking was the man in Pyrite, but now that right out there weird mirror B and his stooges ride her right herd over the town. I wonder what's so special about that mirror B guy. What is that egghead looking painting? I like that you can actually explore the hotel. My partner got lost. Greetings. Welcome to Pyrite Super Grand Hotel. Stay in one of our ultra gorgeous suites and you'll be refreshed like you're brand new. You're Pokemon too. It's a mere hundred pokey dollars a night, will you stay? Yeah, sure, why not? Fine, fine. Hope you enjoy staying with us. Fly for a Quaza or Latios. That's always fun. Did you get a good rest the next time you need to stay? Make sure it's at right here at the Pyrite Super Grand Hotel again. Oh, look at what we have here. You're quite the hottie. Why don't you lose that wallflower for you and be my sweetie? Wait a second. Why are you... <laughs> Who are you to call me a wallflower? What about me makes me a wallflower? <laughs> look at her. She's all serious, uncool. I'm only teasing out of boredom. A guy like him, he's not my taste. Uh, that's it. I'm furious now. Neon, be a man. St <laughs> Stomp her down. Stomp who, me? <laughs> that's a laugh. Come on, then. I'll go easy on you. I like that, like, the versus battles have, like, personality to them here. Gulpin and Zubat. That picture is so unflattering for Zubat. Interesting, I guess that's the, like, unseal their heart-o-meter. Well, I guess, uh... Beat up Gulpin, I guess. But if I had to choose, like, between Rayquaza or Latios, I'd probably choose Latios for flying. Rayquaza seems a bit scary. Huh. Doesn't seem like the boy got any experience. I guess I need to unlock his heart first. Super effective, but did hardly any damage. Good for me. And, uh, helping hand. You Shadow Rush for murder! Let's see. Espeon got experience, but not Krokgnaw. You got all serious. Indeed I did. I am the coolest man. What kind of man battles a frail girl like me without easing up? You're not going to win the hearts of girls that way. Leon, it was here in this Pokemon Square that I saw that strange Pokemon. I tried to leave town afterwards, and that's when those creeps grabbed me. We should be careful. Even at the best of times, there's nothing normal about this town. Everyone here does look weird. There's even two twins already. Ha 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 ha! You're looking to battle with me? That's too funny! Come at me as if your life depended on it! <laughs> Rider Vant. Miss Dravis and Skitty. Go Krokna! Espeon! Oh, one of those is a shadow Pokemon? I'm gonna be flooded with shadow Pokemon! Uh, Shadow Rush the Mistrevious, I guess, and Confusion the Skitty. Critical hit! Goodbye, Skitty! And then a Zigzagoon. And it turns out it's a Shadow Zigzagoon! Oh, that's far! My boy! I probably should have seen that coming. But 
do another Shadow Rush to hopefully knock you down enough. And then blast that Zigzagoon to Kingdom Come. Don't confuse the boy, his heart's already closed off. Because I don't want to do any, like, super effective attacks against you. Else we'll just die. Now it'd be bad. Break on through, motherfucker! Tickle? Not tackle? Leave the boy alone! Again, Shadow Rush if you can. Kill that Zigzagoon. Bass bust him up. Leave the boy alone! I just realized if he attacks himself in confusion, that's probably the end of him. Oh no. Come on, boy. You can live. Motherfucker. I'm scared to do anything. Let's see. Gotta heal him up or else he'll die. Hmm. I'll just call. Umbreon! It's no good! It's not listening! Because I want to catch this Miss Drevis. Hmm. I guess I'll Shadow Rush, but then on Umbreon's turn, I'll Super Potion him. You are a mean Miss Drevis, aren't you? I wonder if the optimal way of... Ah, damn it. Because I don't want to do a super effective attack on Miss Drevis. I guess I could, like... Throw a great ball. At least try. And then on this turn... Use a super potion keep you alive, because I think it's slowly going down, the little purple bar, the more that we're here. I doubt it's actually going to catch, but hey, might as well try. One, two, three! Ah, I got it! Neat. Is he going to care that I stole his Pokemon? Wow, that was easy for you. Losing like that snapped me out of my hyper state. Did you know? If a Pokemon goes into hyper mode, call its name, and its head will snap back into reality. Why do you trainers here have those strange Pokemon? Oh, it's Ryu that's saying it. Rui. I'm sure of it now. The town's hiding a big secret. I guess let's go and uh, heal everyone up back at this place. But yeah, it's interesting that like, a normal guy had a shadow Pokemon. Let me take a look at my Pokemon. If I can... Wish that I... Oh, there it is. Heart Gauge. The door to its heart is starting to open. Hmm. I'm going to have Miss Drevis in the back for a while because it seems that just having them with us could be lowering it, but actively using them in battle seems to also lower it. So we're going to put Umbreon back in front because I want to get them experience. And I also want to test out that theory of like keeping them in battle. like with us, but not actively in battle does things. This is a dual square, where even crying kids know they'd better shut up. This is where roughnecks gather. So how about it? How would you like to battle with me? Excellent. I like a man who can come to a quick decision. Let's have it out! Rider Nova! Knock Towel! Lady Bar! 
Obviously, not all these guys can have Shadow Pokemon, right? There's no way. That would be way too many Pokemon early on for us to catch. Jesus Christ, dude! Hmm. I guess I'll smack you, and then you can use Return on him. Please don't one-shot him. Okay, good. Reflect! Raise defense a little bit. Bite through that defense. Nom nom time! How dare the bug tackle! My boy! So far it seems like either they do like no damage, or they nuke my Pokémon. There is no in-between. Jesus Christ! Critical hit. Okay, we'll be throwing po- Will I even be able to throw a Pokéball up that high? I think I will play it safe and al- Aha! I realize something. Hmm. If I knock out a Pokemon, like, the secondary, like, attack... Well, I don't know. But we'll just throw a Pokeball to be safe and return that Ladybug to hell! Snagball, go! Again, I like that the animation looks like a hand grabbing forward. It's so cool. One. Damn it. Goodbye, Lady Ba. You are dead. You dumb bitch. Wingle! It's so weird just to see it standing there. Aha! You missed! You, you dumb. You dumb little man. And uh, we'll throw a great ball at ya. Because we can. And, uh, Confusion the Wingle. I'm gonna steal your Pokemon! You'd think that, like, the trainers would say something like, Why is he trying to capture my Pokemon? Why is it working? One, two, three! Damn it! I fear that if I try to attack it, it would die. I mean, I guess I could try. How dare you put my Pokemon to sleep? We just woke up. I shall throw another Pokeball at you. How dare. And then I will call. To try and wake him up. Go, Pokeball. My Steel Ball. For stealing. One, two, three! You are being the bastard! Espeon! Eagerly responded to the call. Yay! That's cool. That's a cool mechanic. I like it. I'm gonna throw another Pokeball at you. And I'll just call. You're gonna get in one of these one of these days. Go Pokeball! Nom nom nom. One, two, three! Mine! You're saying I lost? Indeed, Sideburns man. Sideburns boy. Right then, I like your style. Here's a useful tip. If a Pokemon goes into hyper mode, its attacks become more likely to be critical hits. What a surprise, eh? But then I can knock them out of that if I so choose. Let me see your summary. You have a spell tag, and didn't really... Hmm. But I didn't use you in battle at all. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. 
Interesting indeed. But we have a full team, but they're all heart locked. I wonder if I can rematch people. You didn't have any stolen Pokemon? Nope, he doesn't care to. Because let me go to my Pokemon and quickly check at your heart level. Because it is right about the one in speed 41. Kind of just past it. Oh, do you feel like sticking around for a demonstration of my Pokemon's moves? Good, good, I like your attitude. Feast your eyes on these! Straight Performer Diogo! Are you also going to have a frickin' Shadow Pokemon? Krokna! Espeon! All oh, you guys have so many Shadow Pokemon. How am I supposed to unlock all their hearts? Like, can they even level up after I unlock their hearts? Or are they supposed to just be like a... You can unlock their heart as just kind of a thing to do. Uh oh, it went hyper mode. Oh no, it went hyper mode! I don't want critical hits! Oh, and I can't even. Oh, no, there we go. Good. Uh, we'll get rid of Shroomish so we just have less to deal with. There you go. Oh, it's neat. I have a thing I want to try now. Getting it out of hyper mode just bumped down the thing and it thing super much. The purple bar went down a lot from that. Who are you gonna thunder wave, Jerko? What the hell is that animation? Alright, I'm going to call at you and then return you. Krokna! Failed to hear. So I can't just abuse that to really lower it down, but interesting. He's already paralyzed. Suppose I could use this to just throw a normal Pokeball. And then return if it doesn't. But yeah, knocking it out of hyper mode really lowered it. That's cool. I like it. Again, the call function's interesting. I like it a lot. Three! Ha ha ha! Fluffy is mine! You outperformed me! I am your god now. You're surprisingly good. I think you deserve to know a little secret about certain Pokemon move. The move Shadow Rush inflicts damage on any kind of Pokemon without being affected by their types. The amount of damage doesn't vary if the target's p Pokemon type, so it's easy to use. It also hurts your Pokemon. The door is opening, and now it has Scary Face as a move, which isn't all that useful to me. And, yep, we have to use them in battle for things to actually go through. But then that makes me... Th I don't know. Like, can I unlock their hearts with, like, random battles in against random Pokemon? Are there even random Pokemon battles in this game? I assume there are. I'll rest, go save, but then I don't know. Because, like, I want to unlock their hearts, but 
It feels like I'm losing out on experience for my main Pokemon while doing it. And there's a lot of Shadow Pokemon. So I can only expect that, like, there is random battles against wild Pokemon. Oh, hey, doors. The door is locked. Oh, so if there's a locked door, you can, like, open them if you have the right, like, item. Interesting. Or, like, you can interact with things. Well, uh, not you two again! Listen, you have to promise. Don't tell Mirror B that we're hiding out here, okay? After we blew our last chance, we couldn't go back. So we turned ourselves in for stealing that truck, and here we are! If we stayed here, we'd hope... If we stayed here, we'd be safe. <laughs> that is amusing to me. Rather than face the wrath of Mirror B... They're like, let's just go to jail. But yeah, surely there's random battles. I'm just gonna, like, level up my dudes and catch all these Pokemon. If you try talking to anyone in Duel Square, there's only one answer. Combat time. Leba. The cowgirl. Skiploom and Odish. Umbreon, Espeon, let us do battle. Everyone here has shadow Pokemon. What the hell? Yeah, let's just annihilate your side hustle. So that we only have to worry about the shadow Pokemon. Dust Ox. Cotton Spore, what does that do? Slow us down? Yep, speed harshly fell. Nom on that Dust Ox, I presume. Hmm. I guess bite you, and then we'll return the Dust Ox. The power of heart compels you! Uh-oh, here comes the Shadow Rush. Luckily, it didn't do much damage. Not Poison Sting. That actually looks like a terrifying <laughs> attack animation. Rather than a single little diddly D, it's like a whole spray. Horrifying. Uh, bite you again, return you again, and then we'll start throwing Pokeballs at the dude. Bye-bye, Dustox. You are dead now. Goodbye. Ooh, I wonder... Hmm. Nah. I was wondering if I could maybe, like, throw out Shadow Pokemon... But then, bro, like, uh, swap them out. Don't scare me like that. Go, oh, great ball. Yes, and call. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I had a thought process, but then that, like, I assume it was a critical hit. It scared me. You bastard. Oh, yeah. I was going to... Oh, don't kill yourself, you bastard! Don't you dare! Oh, dear God! I have one great ball. Please. Fuck off. Get in the ball! You have one health? One. Two. Three. Yeah! If it broke out, it was totally going to commit suicide. Oh, boo, I had to lose. Like, I don't even know if these things are, like, permanently missable or not. 
Like, maybe you can rematch them, maybe you can't. Like, if they still have a Shadow Pokemon, maybe you can rematch them, I don't know. Oh, that was an incredible battle. I simply love strong guys. That's L-O-V-E. If you ever get the urge to battle with me again, I'll always be here for you, honey. Well, I assume that you're a rematch. Huh? You want to battle me? Not yet. What do you want? There's no square, man. Yeah, because I want to move another Pokemon out. Hmm. Guess it's coming along nicely. Because I want to lower them. But... Oh! It actually is slowly going down when they're not in battle. Okay, never mind. But it's very slow. Like, very slow. So I'll battle you. Sure thing, battling fans are always welcome. Bandana Guy Devil! Oh, hey, it's the Quagsire! That a guy I watch sometimes, Tom. I forget the rest of his title. He's just Tom. He was going for the most decorated Quagsire, and he was shiny hunting that thing. We will save the Quagsire. Uh... I guess you can return the Quagsire. Smack it a bit, and then we'll catch you. Do 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 do. You missed, idiot. Oh, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Never mind, not a lot of damage. But it's quote unquote area of effect, so still. Yeah, let's get rid of the Psyduck so it will stop messing up our flow. And now blast that Quagsire with the power of Nom. Aha, you flinched, idiot. And uh, I'm going to be careful because one... Critical is all it's going to take. We'll do another bite. And I'll keep calling. Espeon! And it's just like, what are you... T why are you calling my name? I'm, I'm not... I don't... What? <laughs> just confusing my Pokemon. Keep flinching, idiot. I'm not going to... I'm not going to throw another one out there. Because me scared. And, uh, reflect, I guess. Snag ball! Yo! It better work within three, or uh, within five, because I only have them. One! Damn it! I probably should have gotten more balls. Well, that's not good at all. It raised its special. Mm. One more? Maybe? Please don't crit. Okay, good. It has a lot more defense. Well, Nom, and hopefully this will go after the bite. Order of operations. Nope. Ball goes first stall time. Good to know. But I'm scared because it's going to probably use Shadow Rush one of these times and take a ton of damage. One. Damn it. You're in red health. Why? Why must my Pokeballs betray me? And now I, like, can't attack again. Because I, I think you'll just die. Leave my poor boys alone. I have three more Pokeballs. For the love of God, get in one. And uh, we'll just use a normal potion for Espeon. Hey, Quagsire, get in the goddamn ball. It's good for you. It's a friendly place. One. 
Cool. Fuck. This might do a little bit of damage, or it might KO it. I'm scared. Well, actually, uh, super potion just because we can. Pokeball, I have two more. Please get in, you hurt yourself. I literally can't hit you again without you dying. And I think if you shout around... I hit my mic. I hit my mic. Bleg, one, two, three. Yay! Whoo, that was close. Oh, that was close. Defeated devil. Wow! Woo! He wanted to battle me, and now he cries. You're way tough. You've got we've got to battle again. Well, I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon. So I'm going to assume those two are, since they explicitly said let's battle again, that I'll be able to literally battle them again. We'll rest here. Then we're gonna go and buy more Pokeballs because we are out. Which basically means going all the way back to the train guy. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the music of this game so far. Sure, we haven't really done much, like, story stuff. But so far, this is a fun time. I've stolen so many Pokemon! Hmm. Yeah, might as well get ten. And a handful of these as emergencies. That'll be all, my dude. And now we're gonna run back to Pyrite Town. Again, disappointed that my evolutions aren't in the sidecar anymore. We saw it only a handful of times, and then it was stolen away from me. So yeah, it's happening sl happening, happening slowly. Now the question is, do I want to take out a Shadow Pokemon? Maybe put Makuhita in and take somebody else out? I'll need to look at the typings. Oh, for some reason I keep thinking that that's the police station, and I don't know why. Alright, a Pokemon storage. So, electric... Grass and water ground, right? Yep, water ground. Grass flying and electric. Hmm. Question is Do I want to swap any of them out? Because we have a fighter, we have water, ghost, and psychic flying. I guess we'll have to deposit you because well, we already have psychic. Let's see. I guess we'll... We will take Flaffy with us, since that's probably the best typing-wise. But... Next, we'll quickly see if... Like, if Drivel will fight us again. Sure. So if I wanted, I could just grind against this guy. 
throw out two shadow Pokemon. Oh, we got a new one to replace the, the one that I stole. Actually, I have an idea. Since only these two are going to get experience no matter what, does that mean that I could swap out... and, like, get the effects? Hmm. Also just remembered, because hmm, grass type, hmm. We might go back and throw Makuhita in and take... Ba -ba -ba. Uh, the other one, I forget its name. The grass flying. Leave Krokna alone. He's a poor boy. Oh, wow. Flaffy already got a boost down to the purple bar just by throwing it out. Well, that's not good at all. I'm going to have to call out to you to get your emotions under control. Shadow Rush. You best not be able to do that. You fucker. Uh, I guess scary face you and call out to Flaffy. You're in hyper mode. Get out. How does that raise your agility, horsey? You weirdo. Shadow Rush. You best not be able to do that, because <laughs> that's his only move. <laughs> that, that animation is amusing to me. Ha -tra -tra -la -la. That's a cool animation. basically have to. We'll finish off Horsey. Tra -la 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 -la. <laughs> Still, that animation amuses me. It cracks me up. But yeah, if I wanted to, I could just grind on these guys to unlock the hearts of my poor Pokemon. How long is a move disabled for, I wonder? Perhaps it's just disabled for an entire fight because they don't expect it to last super duper long. No way, that works? But he has no moves! Aha! You fool. Just in time. Disabled no more! You fool! But I wonder how that works. Like, disabled Flaffy. When it only had one move. But yeah, just like sending them out at all seems to really bring down their purple bar, which is cool. Again, do I want... Makuhita. Because I think it's a pure fighting type. Of which, the only real application I can think of for fighting types off the top of my head is, like, against steel types. Of which I did run into <laughs> an emerald. I needed to power level a fighting type up to deal with steel. Goodbye, Makuhita. Mm. 
I don't think we need to save just yet. Immediate power outage. And we'll go s heal up. So that, like, Crocknaw can be healed up. And we'll go refight the one lady that said, Hey, you can fight me again. We'll do the same thing. Throw out Espeon Umbreon. Swap them out with... Pokemon that I want to do. I wonder if all these guys would just fight me again because they're in Battle Square. It's possible. Go, Umbreon. Espion. Well, obviously, we're not going to want to throw out Crocknaw. He'd fucking die. So let's throw out Flaffy instead. The animation for the Pokeballs, like, activating is super cool, too. With the sound effect, it makes it seem grand. <laughs> its character model gr growing is oddly terrifying. Now that makes me wonder if, like, swapping... Shadow Pokemon in and out. Mayhaps do things. I don't know. Hmm. I wonder if Hyper Mode closes off the heart more. Not Grass Whistle. That's horrible whistling. I hate you. Well, great. Now I need to call out to both of them. He's already in hyper mode. Am I going to have to call out to him twice to get him out of hyper mode and sleep? Oh, no. I want to uh, call there. Yeah. Skip Loom! There you go, boy. Flaffy! I wonder if calling out to them to wake them up affects their shouted heart. Does not look like it. Either that or you can only go down like one bar of fight. You are an aggravating little shit. Well, either way, kill that Sunkern and wake up Flappy. Slap, slap, wake up. Time for murder. Goodbye, Sunkern. You are now dead. Who are you going to absorb from? My poor sheep. Let's get rid of the Oddish. God damn it. Of course you're in hyper mode now. Oh, Jesus Christ. I get no moves this turn. Which means I have to spend the next turn calling you out to you to... Oh, Jesus Christ. Ass? Why is poison super effective against grass? Is it because it's like... Oh no. Pollution. Is that it? It's the most I can think of. Hmm. And let me guess, he got poisoned. Oh no, good.
All right, now don't go into hyper. Okay, maybe I should just start using Shadow Pokemon because they fly, they go into hyper mode at the drop of a hat. Which means I can whittle away at their shadow bar super quickly. I wonder if the if they faint if their bar goes up. I was like, you let me faint, I'm angry with you. Fluffy. So yeah, just maybe go in and just like swap one shadow Pokemon in per fight. That way I can actually focus on murder. Alright, well, I guess we'll throw Crocnon Miss Drevis in just because we can. Because who knows, maybe they'll go crazy into hyper mode as well. That's so just hilarious. Every single time I try to get them to fight hyper mode, which eats my turn. Quit dropping acid on my team. They don't do drugs. They only do depression. So yeah, we're gonna just beat up on that Oddish. How dare it exist in my in my world. You do not belong in my world. So that's what it's like to actually have a turn and not have both my Pokemon go into hyper mode. There goes the hyper mode. Don't crit this guy. We need to be able to take Mistrevis out of hyper mode. Mistrevis' little cat smile. It amuses me. Call the Mistrevis and snap out of it. Do not go into hyper mode. It is bad for your health. Oh no. Okay, good. Murder time! Huzzah! I am the Victor. I do like that you can basically stay at the hotel for a hundred pokey and then come and beat these guys. Oh, I was wondering, just like, what the fuck's that? What's the electricity? Oh, it's poison. I was confused there for a moment. Wow, this is an interesting mechanic. It's very interesting. And just all of a sudden... Oh, it's Jolly Nature. Interesting. Lots of Jolly Pokemon here. We're gonna go save, and then we'll, I guess, continue marching towards, I presume, Mirror B. So that we can actually get a move on with the story. But yeah, it seems like a good practice is to every single fight... 
begin with Espeon and Umbreon and then throw in a Shadow Pokemon out to at least help try and level them away from their shadowy nature. Although if I was playing this on my own, I would totally just grind them all down here. This windmill generates electricity for powering the Colosseum. It may look a little worse for wear, but it's still going strong in active service. Oh, for 30 long years I've spun these gears. Oh, what's of you youngings? Do you want to spin gears too? Yes. <laughs> Not to disappoint you. Well, this isn't a job that anyone can just pick up. Give it another 20 years, then come back. Why? Because then you'll be dead? The door is locked. Good to know. Ba -ba -ba. So there's a big old building. And just a handful of people here. We'll talk to them and then go in. Ay ay ay, that's scary. Take a look down there. It feels like it's going to suck you right in. This crevice runs deep under the ground. You can't even see the bottom from here. You see pyrites in old mining town. I choked! I let victory slip from my grasp at the last knockout challenge! And it's not just once either. It was the time before, and the time before that too! If I wasn't a guy, I could cry. Yeah, I know what to do. I'll go ask Pyrite's mother. I'll ask her when I'll finally win that challenge. Why not just keep trying to win the challenge? Oh, there's a save station here too. Well, I guess we're here. We might as well save. I can just keep pressing A and be stuck here forever. I didn't get here in time to make the registration. I've heard rumors that if you win the challenge, you get an awesome Pokemon like the, that Kale did. Ah, sheesh, what am I saying? You have to keep that a secret. Pretend you never heard that, okay? Dan, wasn't Kale that guy who was hanging around the town's entrance? We should go ask him if he might know something. Oh, can I just heal my Pokemon? Oh, I can. I've been spending my money at the hotel because I'm a fool. Well, let's go beat up Kale, I guess. Oh. Did you exist here before? Battle, battle, so much fun. Pokemon battles for everyone. Battles bring me so much joy. Let's get started, little boy. You are smaller than me, and I am going to kick you into the crevasse. Slugmon Azuril. I'm going to assume... I don't know. One of them has to be a shadow Pokemon. All of the... Everybody in this town has a shadow Pokemon. Everyone does. I was I was right. Why does everyone in this town have a diddly D? Okay, we're going to swap you out with... With Croknaw. And you can blast the Azuril to death. Confusion! The Azuril survived. Heathen. Well, that's horrifying. That did a lot of damage. That did not do much damage, and you still deserve death. Well, I guess, uh, beat him down and confusion that guy to death. Well, not to death. We need him alive. Oh, Jesus. Shadow Rush! Blah! Igglybuff! I am Igglybuff. A critical hit, you killed my boy! Damn you! I guess we'll throw Flaffy in just because we can. 
try to level down their heartlessness. Oh, uh, Thunder Wave the Slugma. That way, higher chances. Is paralyzed and unable to move. Shadow Rush, bleh! Goodbye, Iggly Buff. You are now dead. <laughs> Why did it look so smug to faint? Why do you have just a full team? Okay, the Slugma is super powerful. I want it now. Uh, diddly do him. Great ball. That Slugma. You are going to join my team whether you want to or not. Ba 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 ba. One, two, three. Ha ha, Slugma is mine. Now I need to decide if I want to swap Slugma into my team because fire could come in handy. Why did that sound so visceral, that squelch? And then Swablu died. Goodbye, Swablu. Nobody loved you. I defeated Roller Boy Lawn. I hope you like my show, but now it's time for me to go. Time for you to go indeed. Okay, everyone, we've all had our fun. Until next week, farewell! What are you, a traveling performer? We're gonna go heal up our Pokemon, then go talk to Kane. Or Kale. Bastard boy. A full team! Let me look over my Pokemon. If I had to swap out anyone, who would I choose? Because Umbreon and Espeon are going to stay forever. Mistrevious kind of, like, crosses over in typing a bit with Umbreon in terms of, like, being able to use dark moves, but it just, like, uses ghosts. So maybe throw Mistrevious in, bring Slugma out, because that Slugma packed a punch. And also having fire type uh, might be nice for type coverage. Place. And we'll save at the police station so that we're closer. But yeah, so far I'm liking this. So far, it feels different from other Pokemon games, especially because it's in 3D, but kind of like with that Resident Evil fixed camera. It'll be extra interesting, like, because by the time I play through a bunch of the games and uh, get to it again in terms of, like, play order, I think I might be super ready to, like, replay Pokemon Legends Arceus. Because I love that game. And this, and purely because of it being a 3D Pokemon game, my brain's going like, ah, Legends Arceus. Let me check my layout. My layout seems good. Hey, bastard boy. Huh? What's that? You're wanting to know if I have a weird Pokemon. <laughs> if you want to know that much, may as well see it with your own eyes. Rogue Kale would like to battle. Ferret! <gasps> Ralts! Give me the Ralts! The Ralts! Please! Shadow Ralts! 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 Fuck! Damn it! I have been betrayed! 
and I doubt I can steal just anybody's Pokemon. Profound sadness. Confuse that ferret. I'm just like, Shadow Routes, Shadow Routes. <laughs> but no, no Shadow Routes for me. But hey, that just means I should be able to maybe get my own routes in the future. Maybe. Destroy that routes this instant. How dare you not be capturable. Level up for Espeon. Huzzah! And return that ferret. How dare you quick attack. Again, that animation freaks my eyes the fuck out. Power of hearts! Crunch this seed. Bye bye, C dot. You're dead. Oh, hey, we're just going to be able to annihilate you. All right, uh, I guess we'll throw a Pokeball, because I, I doubt that it'll actually work. And uh, but confusion on the Machop. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. A critical throw, as it were. Get snagged, idiot! One. Only one Rockabye baby. Helping hand. Ah, oh, that works well. No damage. And, uh, goodbye, Machop. Get annihilated. Unless the ferret gets down Mr. President's this. Bye-bye. You're dead. Nice stuff. Muscle definition on your arms, though. And a level up for Ombreon. Huzzah! Ooh, Confuse Ray. Hmm. <laughs> Sure. Let's see. Cause... I don't know. I don't really use any... I've only been using Bite. But Snatch. Steals and uses a target's move if it raises stats. The thing... Is that... I don't think I'm ever going to use that, so forget Snatch. Confuse Ray might be n handy against boss battles. Never when capturing a Pokemon, but when I want that Pokemon just be obliterated. All right, throw a great ball. And I guess one more return. Please don't nuke it from orbit. Ah! Or just get caught. Catch it now so I don't have to be anxietied. One, damn it. I mean, I guess I could swap in Flaffy to paralyze it. Maybe. Please don't get a crit. 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 Okay, good. We'll swap in Flaffy so that we can paralyze you. And we're going to throw another great ball straight at your head. Get balled on, idiot. Pokemon Basketball. How would that work? You are a very annoying little boy. And you must be annihilated. Flaffy is here. You bastard! Got a critical hit! Hmm. I guess send you out just cuz? I don't know. I've been thrown off my script. Umbreon's like, wait. Why am I in my boyfriend's position? What happened? 
Can't let him know, or else he'll murder that Sintret, or Furret. Sintret's the unevolution version. I just said none of that correctly, because I'm a fool. It's the unevolved form of Furret. Get in the ball, you idiot! Get in the ball, you idiot! Get in the ball! Yes. And now your Pokemon is mine, idiot. My... my Shadow Pokemon! No, no, no. My Shadow Pokemon. Our Shadow Pokemon! Bah! That was it. That lying mirror B! He came up with that fancy tough sounding name, Shadow Pokemon, but it was no big deal! You guys be careful too. Don't be played for a sucker. That's about all they'll give you if you win at the Coliseum. Shadow Pokemon? That's what it's called? A Shadow Pokemon? That Pokemon of the Black Aura. I trust things are going according to plan, Mirabi. Oh yes, indeed, Master Nascour. Our plan is coming along in a lovely, peachy keen way. We have already broken Duking's spirit. We can do as we please at the Coliseum without his meddling. We've been giving away Shadow Pokemon on the sly to challenge winners for gathering data. Good. The others also appear to be doing their parts to implement our plan. Our Shadow Pokemon plan is falling into place quickly. The final phase is not far off. <laughs> this is perking up my spirit and body! Oh, I feel like dancing! Save your dancing until our plan succeeds. I'm off. Okay then. I shall make my return to the cave where my darling Pokemon await my return. Let the music play! Rigo! It looks like the Coliseum has a secret. I guess there's no choice but to take part in a battle challenge there. I guess we could try. We'll head there, heal, save, and I guess at least try to participate in the challenge. So first things first is heal because my poor Espeon got annihilated! Then we'll come over here and save. So that we are all ready. Welcome to the Pirate Coliseum. Are you here to register for entry? I'm sorry, but the current challenge is already underway. Please wait. So I guess instead of actually doing the challenge, we need to go to that building. It's weird because I assumed we would go to the building where Mirror B was because of the cutscene, but then she said we're going to have to partake in a challenge. Door's locked. Door is stuck. Hmm. Maybe I need to talk to that guy that I beat again? Or no, uh, talk to the guy that told us that Kale had a shadow Pokemon. I didn't get in here to make registration. I've heard rumors of you in. Okay, what I'm saying, you have to get that secret. Hmm. Huh. So either we need to find that cave, which feels doubtful. Maybe we need to go talk to the chief of police. Uh, yes, we see. Get out of town. Just can't help. Hmm. You two again. If we blow our chance, we turn ourselves in. If we stay, bah, bah, bah. Here's we criminal case files. Johnson, law around here keeps the peace. Huh. 
People talk, hey, the word is there's a lot of scary presence in the shadows behind that mirror B. It's probably best that you don't stick your nose too deeply in there for your own health. Hmm. Maybe we need to go to fortune telling. Dear me, a problem vexes you. If you so wish, it shall solve. Uh, fortune telling. Four, four, four. Very well. You trust will not be betrayed. Let me begin. Quack! Oh, what is the meaning of this? You are at the center of a monumental incident, it seems. It is pointless for me to say any more about it. You must make your way to the Colosseum. Your fate, your fortune has been told and requires you to win at the Colosseum. So either we need to win at... Because this one is blocked off, so maybe we need to go back to Pyrite Town's Colosseum. Or maybe the construction lot, because that says where the Colosseum is going to be built. Then we'll try Pyrite's Coliseum. Oh, no, not Pyrite's. Finax. Me dumb. I was at Pyrite for so long, my brain just like, ah, this is a word. Like, I have a full team, so maybe I could challenge the guy? Let me go save at the Pokemon Center here. And we'll see what the this pre-gym guy has to up his sleeve. Like, I feel kind of bad trying to because none of my shadow Pokemon are freed. Either way, I think this will be the perfect place to end. And then I'll probably go and try and grind the shadows off my shadow Pokemon on my own time so that we have less to worry about, maybe. The rich boy keeps trying to get in my way. And then I was a fool and walked away. I am but a fool. Oh, hello. I guess you finally got your six Pokemon for your party. Well then, would you like to battle against me? Okay, gotcha. This will make me feel sort of giddy. When you're ready to battle, go to the battle area in the center and stand on the left side. I do like that you have, like, time to plan out. Yeah, go for it! I'll be right here cheering! Okay, let's get this battle underway. Show me a great battle. Pre-gym leader Justy would like to battle. Justy sent out Sandshrew and Gliger and oh dear god, they are higher level than me. Much higher level than me. I'm gonna be molly -walloped. Critical hit! And became confused. Huzzah! Ha! Hit itself in its confusion, idiot! Sandstorm! That'll be bothersome. Buffeted by Sandstorm. Buffeted by Sandstorm. Let's keep going down on Gliger. Get him out of here. Don't let him get an attack off at all. Cacnea! If only my Slugma was, like, not shadowed, then we could flamethrow this guy into hell. Well, that's epilepsy. Buffeted. Buffeted. Will it also buffet Cacnea? Probably not. Should probably get rid of this sand shrew. Don't you dare evade this.
damn it. At least the confusion went off. All the You're an evasion bastard. God no. Not the evasion bastard. Is he just here to lame you out with Sandstorm? I am going to double team my team so that you can't attack my team and the Sandstorm will kill you. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, I'm going to hate you. You're going to be an annoying bastard to kill, aren't you? Because like, ooh, evasion, ooh, evasion, ooh, evasion. Death by a thousand cuts, Sandstorm. You're a bastard. And you use potions on top of evasion? That should be illegal. AI should not be able to do that. That's so stupid. I hate it. No, seriously. That is bullshit. That is just unbelievable bullshit. I hate you. You are terrible. No one loves you. I probably should have bought more potions. But I thought the game wouldn't be a bastard about it. But no. This guy is being a dick. <laughs> Evasion. I hate you. Evasion is such an annoying mechanic in these games. Oh, you are annoying little bastard, aren't you? Let's try and get rid of Keknia before he heals it. <sighs> why? Just why? Just why? Evasion is such a stupid thing. <laughs> Double team, man. And now you're going to do that, and it's probably going to knock out my Espeon because... Oh, you get to raise your bullshit. But then, whenever you attack me, you just hit all your stuff. Evasion should also make it so they're unstable, and they're unable to hit me either. It makes no sense? Well, of course it doesn't, because evasion is stupid. Probably not going to be enough to save you from the roly-poly motherfucker. Hee <laughs> hee, your attack missed. You're just an annoying little bastarding bitch, aren't you? No one loves you at home. That's why you keep evading your family. But yeah, again, this is a stupid thing to do in a game. I'm gonna make the AI be a laming little bitch. Oh boy, such fun for the player to not land any hits. It's the most fun you can have, not being able to play the game. Oh, well, that's fair. It is underground. Shadow Rush should be a 100% hit rate attack no matter what. It's only fair. Why do you get it? How is... Oh, yeah, I guess it is a... Grass I put critical hit on top of that, bastarding bitch. You little fucker. If I could be one thing if it was just like, oh, I'm just not leveled enough. No, this guy just has an asshole strategy. That's it. That's all this fucker has. And it's bullshit. What do you mean, Confuse Ray Mist? It should be a 100% attack. Fuck off. So much fun not being able to land any attacks. And just keep slowly going. Slowly going. 
Finally. I don't think I've landed a hit in like five minutes. Because these assholes are just like, hey, I do this. It's just an annoying thing. And you just keep doing the sandstorm as well. Which just prolongs the turns more than anything. Quit being annoying. Man, just please kill him. Thank you. Thank God. And then the next fucker that comes out, we're going to <laughs> hit you with the Thunder Wave. Until it's just the damn little pipsqueak alone. The sandstorm rages. It better affect that Azumarill. Swear to God. Good. Because I can kind of understand the cactus not being affected by the sandstorm, but still. Alright. Bite you. Thunder wave you. Thunder wave wouldn't work much on the, the little bastard. So I doubt. Why do all of your Pokemon have double team? Why are you just a bastard? Swear to God. Yeah, I figured you'd hit him because you're a bastard. Really, all his attacks should do one damage. Oh, good. He paralyzed. For some reason, I thought you wouldn't be able to be paralyzed. But sure thing. The Sandstorm Rajes. Hey, you're just an annoying little fuck of an enemy. Oh wait, he's paralyzed. So I probably shouldn't even try, but still. And that thing has so much health. Oh, where's my flinches when I need them? No, it's just like, oh, it's not gonna work, because fuck you, player. Oh, Swift is a multi-hit attack, because fun. I'm mostly annoyed by this fight because of the evasion bullshit, which is bullshit. It's just not fun to deal with. All right, strategy. No, it isn't. It's the game telling you to fuck off and die. That's what it is. Oh, hey, look, the game ate one of my attacks. What fun! So <laughs> he has multiple ways of evading you. And again, he used f the f a fucking heal as well, which is just not fair, in my opinion. And he continues to use heals because he's a fucking bastard. Which just isn't fun to deal with when he also evades like a bitch. Oh, fuck off. That's what you deserve, you little motherfucker. I should have been using Taunt. I'm an idiot. But then he also would have just probably damaged me to death faster, so. I hate this mechanic. Sure, I, I kind of understand it. Like, oh, it helps, like, uh, get the Shadow Pokemon out of it faster, but, like, considering there seems to be no wild Pokemon just yet, kind of annoying when I'm trying to play the game.
That, that felt like it didn't even do anything. Well, finally you flinch. You bastard. I probably would have won this if not for the fucking evasion. I feel like I would have. So it drained my resources and wasted my time. Because evasion. Such fun. Hey, you know what we should do? We should make it so the player just uh, doesn't have fun. Because it's an annoying thing to put in there, especially as, like, the first gym. It's not as obnoxious as, like, other... Like, hoo hoo hoo, we're going to give the your foe actual strategy. But, like, it's still annoying. As, like, the first simi gym. Would have been nice if the game actually prepared you. But instead, the game is just like, ah, we're gonna throw you into the deep end, because fuck you, player. No fun for you. He's not too strong, he's a bitch. Let's see. Are uh, my Pokemon healed up? They are. Luckily, we can just go to the store and buy heals there. But still, I find that exceedingly annoying. But now I have a new plan. Well, technically. Uh, I just have no money. Because, like... I guess we can try and go to the Colosseum and try that properly. Because, again... I assume this is the Colosseum the game is talking about. We've only run into three. Again, it would be one thing if he was like, Oh, he's just too high level for you. That's not what it is. He has an annoying mechanic behind him, and that annoys me beyond belief. Can I do it? Fuck him. Would you knock out challenge? Info. Are played in double... Yeah, double battle style. Trainers putting two Pokemon on each... You win the challenge if you defeat four trainers in a row. The challenge champion wins not only a cash prize. Sure, let's try it. Let us go. Hey, Neon, do you think maybe using Shadow Pokemon here won't be a good idea? I think you should use only ordinary Pokemon for this challenge. Well, what am I supposed to do? Game. The only thing I can do is the bullshit pre-gym. Or I guess grind. You should only use normal Pokemon. I don't have only normal Pokemon. Because there are no normal Pokemon. The only Pokemon I've been allowed to catch are Shadow Pokemon game. Why would you even unlock it to be like, oh, would you like to go do it? Like, I guess head back to Pyrite Town? I don't know what the game wants of me. Because I assumed we want to do this Colosseum. Like, I don't even know why. It's just like, oh, maybe we should use only normal Pokemon. Why? What's the reason? Like, is the, is the reason that there's like 5 billion dudes here purely so that you can grind out your shadow Pokemon? To make them normal again or something? Because that door's still locked. So yeah, if, if it is that where I'm supposed to, where I'm expected to grind out the shadow Pokemon, I'll be slightly annoyed. Again, because the only thing I can do. So yeah. The only thing I can do is grind out my shadow Pokemon. And even then, I don't know if that would technically work. Because for all I know, shadow Pokemon are shadow Pokemon no matter what. Then again, if I open their heart completely, maybe that would technically count as them being, I don't know, purified and they're no longer Shadow Pokemon. So it does seem like the only way to continue is to grind. Because there's nothing in the spinny building. That door is locked and there doesn't seem to be anything else over here to do. The only things I can do is the pre-gym which is borderline bullshit because of the tactics, so I have to grind here anyway, so I can actually use tactics of my Pokémon. Ah. 
I've missed this building. Maybe what I need to do is in this building all along. Oh, you're Dukem guy. Duking. The name's Dukey. I run the Coliseum here. If you want to enter a battle, go see the Coliseum receptionist. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. Um, I'm the lookout. Nobody's supposed to get by me. There's nothing special behind the bookshelf. Aha! Story progress. All because I missed this one place. That was just off in a corner. I thought that was like a, like a nothing nowhere. Oh, I can't even read the, the bracket. Or not bracket, uh... What is it? A plaque. The shelves are lined with books on Colosseums. 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 Well, let's go down here. The fuck? That's why Marcia, we've got to somehow snag them from those criminals. Ah! You startled me! How did you get in here? That's weird. My little brother's supposed to be on lookout. My sister hasn't done anything but ch chatter. I'm so bored. I want to play house. Are you Papa's friends? I'm Marcia. I'm pleased to meet you. Sorry, we're busy. We're talking about something that's quite important. Please come by and visit with us another time. So, this isn't even progress. Profound sadness. So, we are once again locked into only being able to either pre-gym or... Oh. Let's see. Dukeen, how much more are we going to take for mere being a stooges? They're using you in the Colosseum! What is the matter with you? Have they sucked the spirit right out of you? Tch. So you just clam up. I've lost faith in you. That man that went out is Silva. He's Dukeen's friend. But he was really angry. His face looked all scary. So maybe this is story time. Well, now we have to be on the lookout for Silva, I guess. Because if we can't find Silva, then we're basically locked into pure fine our dudes. Aha! Story time? What the fuck? Did he become a zombie or did he get beat up? Someone! There's trouble! Help me! The chief's inside! Silva came and... Is he gonna, like... What happened? Oh, oh, that Silva's got too far this time. He ripped out and ripped off one of the gears. <laughs> the Coliseum's gonna be without power. <coughs> Chief, are you all right? Yeah, the only thing bruised is my pride. It was only Silva, so I wasn't expecting any trouble. Huh? But isn't Silva Duking's trusted lieutenant? What's his motive for doing this? That's what I want to know. He was ranting about how the Coliseum can just shut down or something. Sorry to worry you younglings, thanks. I'll be fine now. But I need to ask for a favor. Sure. If you if the Coliseum loses power, the whole town suffers. I need you to find that gear Silva ran off with. I'm counting on you, younglings. Hmm. Dukeen and Silva had a falling out? No, that can't be right. Silva would never betray Dukeen. There's big trouble. The Colosseum must be in an uproar now without power. Silver, you must have been driven to desperation. Hmm. I doubt he'd go this way, but we might as well check before going elsewhere. Got anything else to say? The power's gone out in the Colosseum? Tell me you're joking. I was supposed to win the knockout challenge this time. Uh, well, it's not like I actually have my fortune read or anything, yeah? So many people might have things to say. Of course, train the windmill came to a sudden stop a while ago and it stayed that way. I wonder what's wrong. Did it have a breakdown? They were just going to open registration for the next challenge, but now this? What's going on here? We have a terrible problem. The Colosseum doors suddenly stopped working. They won't open. Oh, I don't know what to do. We can't hold any battles this way. Still don't understand why the game is like, oh, we should only use normal Pokemon. Maybe this is a way to, like, encourage you to, like, I don't know, purify the Shadow Pokemon. Or maybe there is, like, normal Pokemon that out there that I can, like, 
save. Hmm. What is it? What is it? What is happening now? I saw Silver run out of town in an awful hurry. All right, so he did leave town. You thugs must be, well, shoot me to the not have any money for the likes of you. He doesn't even care about towns without power. Oh, hey, was that shiny? I got jail key. Does that mean I can just free all the criminals? Well, let's save before we free all the criminals. Well, we are a criminal ourselves. Even if you begged us, we're still not going to leave here. <laughs> that is amusing. Hey, what? Oh, wow, thanks. You're letting us loose. Hey, I don't know or care who you are, but thanks. See ya. Progress. I found a TM. What is the TM? Thief. Well, he was a criminal. Jail key. And nothing else. So that seemed like it was just for the TM. Or maybe it'll have an effect later. Who knows? Well, let's head out of town to see if we know where to go. Or maybe you have something to say. People talk, hey? The word is there's a lot of scary presence in the shadows. Alright. Which is weird, because the fortune teller said that we should... Like, go to the Colosseum. I can't believe the fortune teller lied to us. Are there more horrible people since I came here? But now the mood is very tense and nervous. There must be something terrible afoot. Guess we can go maybe here. Again, see what's going on with the mayor. Or is he still missing? Oh, you're back. Ah, it's you two. I'm so glad to see that you're safe. I've heard the thugs from our neighboring town came here, even going so far as to enter in my own home. They did this deliberately while I was away. How dare them. We must stop, step up, and spin along our investigation. I will continue with an investigation, whatever. Do as you please. So that's just kind of him acknowledging that he exists now. <sighs> Quickly check here, see if there's anything weird. Is it they closed down again? Oh, nope, he's normal. So it's just like, we can, but we need normal Pokemon, which we lack access to. Hmm. I just wish that I knew where Silva went. Maybe he went to the train? Because the old man said that he saw Silva run out of town. So maybe he did come here. What do you guys say? So you just got want to see. You see I have the urge to have another Pokemon of you. Drum me wonky. Sure. Rider Willy. Ah, one of them leveled up and transformed. Good for you. And we will go ahead and swap in Flaffy, because he's almost done. And who else? Uh, Crocna, I'd say. And then if you manage to knock out my Shadow Pokemon, oh well. 
We'll get back down to our normal. Eventually. Oh, hey, Flappy is normal? Why are they both over sleuthing? What does the identification even do? I wonder if there's like a story thing where I can't do it or not. Pen missile? How dare you? Oh, two times. Flaffy uses thunder wave. Blah. So yeah, I wonder if I need to get to, to a certain point in the story before shadow Pokemon become normal Pokemon, or do they... Because I assume that they're obviously they have to become normal again so they can start gaining experience, right? I can only presume. Well, he seems to be normal, so uh, let's throw in Slugma. And, uh, I guess munch on that Lanoon. Critical hit time. Mwahaha. <laughs> Not the secret power. Definitely looked secret. How many times will you hit now? One hit. Two hit. Three hit. Not very effective. We must annihilate that Lanoon for all the crimes against humanity it has committed. Why did you re-identify the Krokna? Why are you being weird? Poor Lanoon, it just keeps getting battered back and has to crawl back up. And you missed! You fool! Devour the Zigzagoon. I do like that it zigzags to get back into place. That's adorable. One hit. Two hit. Critical hit. Three hit. Four hit. And it still was not enough. Now die. But we'll see. If Flaffy, like, goes like, oh, your Flaffy has opened its heart, and, uh, everything's good. Maybe. But then again, maybe there's a story point where I can start, like, I don't know, purifying the darkness of these Pokemon's hearts or something. I am, uh, unaware. I beat you again. Wiped out again. And 300 Poké Dollars. Yeah, you're tough, real tough. You stumped us good. Silva, are you here? Nope. I don't have really money to buy anything. Hmm. Maybe he ran to the construction site? Because I didn't go there after Silver ran. Pepe Sylvia. Oh, hey, gear. I, I was just like, I, it kind of shone, so I was like, huh. I expected to, like, run into Silva. Like, by now we obviously know that, like, something funky is going on with the Coliseum and stuff, so... Why would we return this? You'd think that we would want to track down Silva and be like, hey, what's going on? Rather than immediately go back and fix the problem. I mean, we're, we're supposed to be a criminal. Terribly sorry, Chief. You're sure you're okay? Yep, I'm fine. There's no need for all the worrying. Good, that's good. But Silva, this is an outrage. 
No, no, I reckon he agonized over this and did it because he thought it right. I can't blame the man for that. Enough about that, Duking. Instead, I think you should look over there. What? You people? <laughs> I reckon you might be saying thanks, Duking. Th that's the gear. You found it for us. What amazing luck. I'll ask you to excuse me for my behavior earlier. You seem to be people who are worthy of trust. You have my sincere thanks. All right, I'll get you this lot that gear snugly back in that gap where it belongs. One of the gears is missing, put in the jail key. All done. Standing by. Let it roll. Oh, 30 long years of cranking gears. Oh, yeah. And the windmill is back in action. <laughs> this is the way it ought to be. Things are fine now. I can tell that you're a man of courage and honor. I have a favor to ask. Will you hear me out? I'm grateful. I want you to enter the next Colosseum battle. I need you to win the knockout challenge and find out what is going on there. I can tell from a glance that you're no ordinary trainer. I know you can win. I'm sorry, but help me. And maybe because this one is the one that's giving out shadow Pokemon, we should be fine to use our shadow Pokemon. Maybe. That would be nice. Let's see what Flaffy's thing says. The door to its heart is about to open. Undo the final lock. But I don't know how to do that, so... I think that pretty much confirms it. To unshadowify them, I need to... Do something specific. To unshadowify a Pokemon, it is a story thing. You get to a certain point, and then you can start unshadowifying Pokemon. And thus leveling them up. Alright, healed up, we will go save, and then we'll see if we can enter. I swear, you better not be like, Oh, we should only use normal Pokemon! I will slap you, Rui. You dare. Hey, can I enter? Thank you for your patience. The power's been turned back on. I'll be happy to accept registrations for the next challenge. Okay, will you be entering the Pokemon that you have in your party now? Yes. I hope you give it your best shot. That is kind of weird that Rui said that for only the Finnick Coliseum. But okie doke. Let's see how the Pyrite Coliseum battle goes. Bring it on in the Thunderdome. Hawks. It's not going to be easy to get a win on me. I think he said because it went too fast. Barboach! Sandshrew! Isn't Barboach one of those weird water but another type things that are... I don't know if I forget. Let's see. Do I want to swap anyone in? Is the question. I guess we could swap in. Rockna to deal with Sandshrew, but I don't know about... Ah, Skiploom. You should maybe be able to do something with that. At the very least, maybe break down your walls a bit. You'd think they would fix these, uh, uh, thingy things. The banners. The banners are all broken. Try and scratch all you want, little man. You're still gonna die. Surf! Mega drain that barboach. It's super effective! And now, surf for murder! 
Jesus, it just killed it. I like the shadows in this. It could be the fact that I... Like, have a higher resolution on the emulator, but it, this kind of looks still good. Hunter Hawks. You've still got a long, long way to go in the Pirate Coliseum! Battle Coliseum 2. You're planning to win it all? You know that's impossible. Why? Because you're a weirdo? Why are you called a chaser anyway? Not to! Meditite! Alright, let's see. We're obviously going to throw in Fluffy. Then I guess we'll throw in Slugma just to, like, try and worm our way into his heart. Slugma! Fluffy! How dare you leer. That's a cool effect. How dare you use confusion, you little bastard. Leave my Pokemon alone. Their minds are mine to twist. Thundershock. And I guess Shadow Rush the Metadite. Leer all you want. You're still going to die. How dare they be faster than my Pokemon. This is illegal. Thundershock! Get blasted out of the sky, not to. Damn it, Slugma is useless. He went into hyper mode. And that's illegal. Oh, why did it cut to the chaser there for a moment? It's gonna leer again. More than likely, Metatite is going to uh, superpower, which will kill Flaffy, which will be sad. Hidden power. Never mind, it hit him instead. Thunder shock. Critical hit when we really didn't need it. That's just overkill on that poor Natu. Well, I guess Thunder Wave him, if possible. Who are you gonna hit and kill? Eh, yeah, fair enough. Let's throw Krokna in. Paralyze that little man. No more thinking. We've paralyzed your brain. I guess diddly -dee and bite. Thundershock! Knock him to the ground. What the, uh, that's a weird animation. I guess he's into yoga. It freaks me out. Yes, hit the full health Krokna and not the om almost dead Flaffy. You are smart. But yeah, that recovery animation is weird. I am the wiener! Well, you're not half bad, you. Semi-final! You're trying to score an awesome Pokemon, aren't you? It's not going to be easy. Bandana guy, Vilch. You know what? Since we're getting into the... the end game here... I'm gonna stick to my mains. 
Uh, actually, I want to see. Do my Pokemon heal? They heal between rounds! That is good. All right, then. See if we can get a fire move out of Slugma. And I guess uh, Flappy. I shouldn't have sent out Flappy because Flappy's already good to go, but... Oh, well. I guess I'll paralyze the both of them and then swap Flappy out. Cacnea! I like Cacnea. Cacnea is a fun little guy. Alright. Uh... I will Thunder Wave you first, if at all possible. The effect on that is still freaky to me. Okay, good. Which is gonna waste my Thunder Wave, you bastard. It's like it knew. We're trying to paralyze my poor sheep. Go ahead and do that, and let's see, who we throw out? Mass Squirt, let's throw out Skip Bloom. He'll probably be annihilated by the electricity, but we need to whittle away at his heart. Kick me out. Beth, they heal between rounds. I'm good to go. Keep on howling while you're paralyzed. The par paralysis will come to your lungs soon. And then we can Shadow Rush you as well, I guess. Shadow Rush and then Mega Drain. Shadow Rush and then Mega Drain. The ultimate loop. Oh, I forgot that you could do that. Not very effective, you idiot. Prepare to die. But now, who is the other schmuck that's gonna come out? Because you have three, Mr. Semi-Finals. Well, Vulpix! Adorable. I prefer the Alolan Vulpix. Let's see. Yeah, we should probably uh, barrel down on that. Let's see. Uh, Sleep Powder of the Vulpix. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. You're probably gonna die. Oh no! Why? Why, why would you? There was a. I have a grass type on the field. Why would you fire attack? Why would you fire attack the fire type? What? <laughs> what? You made it to the semifinals? All right, we're going to unhyper you because uh, progress on the Shadow Hardy. But uh, never mind, we're just going to Shadow Rush. That's <laughs> just. Why would you fire attack the Slugma? Again, that's such a cool animation effect, but it trips out my brain. Is that gonna like one shot because of all the howls? Eh, kind of. It's up there. Of course you went into hyper mode. They hit me once. I am now in hyper mode. I want to kill them. And we'll call out to you, Skip Bloom. Stop being evil. Okay. Get a burn. Get a burn. Darn you. Sure. Basically tackle the lava and not immediately die. Was that a critical? Good job. Slugma decides, I've had enough. Die. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll just... Ah, Mega Drain. Wait, it's fire type. It's not gonna do much. Ah, well, we can at least see. <laughs> Don't know why it's not embering my grass type, my skip bloom. Damn that deep voice. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Didn't really mean to do a deep voice, but hey. Devour the soul of this Vulpix. It's not very effective. Now I am the fool. But I did get three, eight, well, four HP back. Eh, yeah, Shadow Rush. Are you gonna hit the grass type this time? It did it! It learned! <laughs> One H- Oh, wait, no, Skiplum's gonna die now! No! Recoil. <laughs> Never mind. Slugma decided, I will save Skip Bloom. Get a critical hit. <laughs> this fight has been a roller coaster. Defeated Bandana Guy Vilch. Whoa. Hey, maybe you do have what it takes to handle that awesome Pokemon. I have like four awesome Pokemon in my PC. Because I just stole them from everybody. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, hey, it's the guy that said it was his time. If you could beat me, damn it, I didn't read fast enough because uh, I was being like, Hey, Tim, do you have Miss Magius? I do. They're in the PC right now. Golding, golding. Well, since this is the finals, I feel like I should take you seriously. Confuse Ray the Bagon, and uh, confuse the Bagon. They're super good in this game. Ah! Then perhaps we will swap them back in. Perhaps, perhaps. Get confused, idiot. And now watch it attack through it anyway. Only I am the one meant to suffer. Again, the sound effect of getting hit by, like, Peck is, like, visceral in this. And I don't know why. Yeah, I'll finish you off and confuse the Goldie. Get blasted, idiot. Mind blast. Blows up your pancakes with mind. Goodbye, back on. Who are you gonna send out next? God. That is close to God. I don't think I have anything that's good against Magnemite. Let's see, because if I remember my time in Emerald, Magneton kicked my ass. I don't understand why Steel resists Psychic. Is it because of Tinfoil? For the power of Steel, conspiracy theories will rise. Again, it's so squelchy. You bastard! My my poor cat dog, how dare you? Go ahead and bite. We'll use a super potion, because why not? <laughs> Throw a jail key at him. That'll show him. Leave my cat dog alone. They're just boyfriends here to kick some ass. Secret power may help with the type it, it is? Maybe. Uh, I am not a very, like, super tactical individual. I'm mostly vibing. <laughs> that is my, that is my go-to strategy. Vibing. I have a bad time of... Maybe we can try it. See how it goes. And confuse the goldfish. I mostly wouldn't have thought to use secret power because, like, oh, it's a normal attack. This is steel. That wouldn't work well. Level up for the boy. Level up for the other boy. And learn swift. Eh, do I want a swift? It does hit multiple targets in this, and there's, like, a ton of double battles in this game. We'll at least take a look. Is there anything that I'd want to get rid of? Spray star-shaped rays that never miss. They are... 
always hitting, so that's a plus, but they do low damage. I won't get rid of Return. Return is very good. <laughs> oh, I'm a Pokemon nut. Neat. Like, I'm, I, I, I'm kind of deep into Pokemon when it comes to like, ooh, I like the story, I like the characters, I like the Pokemon. But when it comes to strategy, I constantly forget the typings and like how they interact because I'm an idiot. Me, I'm the kind of person like, I want to play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and be emotionally devastated. And then get annoyed at all the traps. Boost the power of the recipient's moves. I think I will get rid of... I don't know. Because that's the thing. I'm not really... It kind of compounds the fact that I don't know how much it boosts the recipient's moves. I don't know enough of the specifics of these moves. It doesn't tell me enough, so my brain's just like, I don't know. I should. Uh, I could just attack again. Helping hand might not be worth it. All right, then goodbye. Because it being a, an, an attack that hits two enemies, always hits, no missing. Evasion is worthless. It, it, it's very good. It's like I'm very tempted by it. Oh, no, Santa Claus. Secret power! Not very effective. It's still killed. <laughs> so it's about a stage of attack. I'm a fool and don't know exactly what that means. Oh, stage attack as in it hits the entire stage yet. Yeah. Well, just munch on that bird. Confuse him. Is it psychic? Yeah, we'll use her turn. Through the power of love, kill Santa Claus! Oh no! Present time! He failed a bomb! Santa Claus is a terrorist! You dare to live, Deli Bird. I will munch him. <laughs> Let's use Swift! Cause why not? We just got it! Get hit by stars! <laughs> Critical hit! We shot Santa Claus out of the sky. 666. Six, six. The number of the beast. I defeated bodybuilder Mirez. You're some kind of strong. Good things could be in store for you. What are you, a, a fortune teller as a bodybuilder? Helping Hand is about a 20% stat boost, whereas Dragon Dance is about 40% in older games. Meh. Congratulations! You're the champion! You battled fabulously! Please accept the cash prize of 4,848. Not bad, 4848. And as a victory prize, please ex also accept TM06. Alright, well, I wonder what that is. We'll be looking forward to your next entry. I didn't... Didn't I... Is it possible that I didn't get the Pokemon prize because I had a full party, maybe? Hmm, I don't know. Because everyone says, like, ah, you will get great power. And I got toxic. Your voice is incredible, has a range, it has a vibe. Thank you very much. Wow, really? So you really win and won it all. It'll be my turn next. Well, I didn't get a shadow Pokemon for winning. Again, could be because I didn't have an empty space, but maybe we should go talk to Duking. What tournament? The thing that I just did. Oh, but, uh, oh! It's not an official thing from through the Coliseum. They give it here at the Discount Nugget Bridge. Hey there. You must be the superb trainer who has emerged triumphant in our latest battle challenge. Mirror B, the town's true mover and shaker, wishes you to have a gorgeous gift. Now follow me. Interesting. I probably should have saved. I am a fool. Luckily, since this isn't like Fennec Town's pre-gym, I don't think I'm going to get wrecked here. Right, I'm back with our latest challenge champion. Let's present our lucky winner with a shadow Pokemon and watch Chaos Unleashed. <laughs> Oh, nice one. Our new champ is quite the appealing charmer. It makes a nice change from the parade of macho musclemen. Wait, this isn't happening! 
like this guy. He's that neon guy that Mira B's been carrying, carrying on about. What? The same guy who messed up with us in FedEx City? Gah, I didn't know what, that when I let him in here. I'll boot you back out. Cypher P on Noor. Yanma and Pineco. All right, then. We obviously want to lower the purple bar on some of our shadow Pokemon. Oh, which one's shadow? Who are we catching? We're catching a bird today. All right, then. Hmm. Let's see. Who do I want to throw out there? Not Flaffy, because they're already done. Let's throw Slugma out. I'm going to keep Espeon here to whittle down Yanma. Oh, wait, it's bug type, but it's probably going to annihilate Espeon. Ah, well, we can just wait and see. With the power of love. But Yanma is probably going to destroy Espeon. Never mind, it's using Shadow Rush instead. Still lots of damage, but... Not terrible. Oh no, the pine cone is tackling. <laughs> it, it rocked it off like a missile. That's hilarious. Yanma, for love of God, please do not attack the pine, my, my, my slug. So as you do not die. All right, now we're going to be eternally throwing balls at you. Sonic Boom. Go home and be a family mom. Shadow Rush. That did like nothing. Oh, oh no. Uh, huh. Bide scares me. Uh, uh, huh. Well, I guess uh, on your turn we can just uh, throw some Pokeballs. Catch me that Yanma! And uh, confuse that Pinecone to death before it uh, destroys the universe. Go! Again, I love that cat, that throwing animation. It's so good. One! Two! Three! It is mine now! Ha ha ha! Nincada! How cute. You have lots of bugs. Die. And the pine cone is dead! Long live the tree! Are you going to murder my slug? Let us see. Confuse the Surskit. The sounds in catch used in catching is also great. Really satisfying sound design. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mostly focused on the animations. Probably because I'm talking over it. Because I am a fool. Confuse the Surskit to death. How dare you dance like you're on water when you're on dry land. You're in the wrong genre. Are you going to kill my slug? <laughs> that is an amusing animation. It like rubbed its belly. Yay, we get to calm down the lava slug. The world is healing. Slugma! Do not be mean! But the power of love bash that bug. Are you gonna dig again? Oh no, you're gonna use Leech Life. Are you gonna kill my dog? Never mind, Leech Life sucks. Through the power of love, bash the bug.
Keep using leech life. <laughs> this is not gonna work well. You're not a fool, you're entertaining. Hey, thank you very much. But I'm definitely a fool in many a way. The moment I come up to against an enemy that uses strategy, I'm like, oh no. My Dark Souls smash them with a big sword strategy isn't going to work. Pokemon Dark Souls. Which then leads my brain down to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 3D action game Dark Souls. Mostly because I'm just obsessed with the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. I defeated the Cypher Peon Noor. No, it's no surprises now how he managed to win the tournament. And I got more money from him. <laughs> Mistrevis has a dual immunity to ground and normal. Oh, he has the heavy bonk method. Always heavy bonk. I might have to bring in Miss Drevis. It's mostly because my brain went, hmm, Miss Drevis learns dark moves. But I already have Umbreon. And I don't want to put Umbreon in a box. He's my boy. It's useless. I don't stand a chance of winning. Now hold on. You're the one who brought him here. <laughs> they all run away. <laughs> oh, you're safe. I heard you entered this building. It had me worried. Duking, this is where they were giving Shadow Pokemon to the winners of the battle challenges. Shadow Pokemon? Those ferocious Pokemon that even attack people? Again, if that was a mechanic where you had to worry about Shadow Pokemon attacking, like, the player character, that would just elevate this game to super god tier. Because I think that'd be a cool thing. If there was an animation for it in the tutorial, I think it would be cool. Uh, true, but the Umbreon is weak to ground, no? True, but he's my boy! Oh, it isn't weak to ground. Again, I am terrible with typings. I <laughs> buy him but a fool. Yes, they're giving away Shadow Pokemon to thugs for some reason. It doesn't look good. Uh, they were using the Colosseum to do that? Big lady, my papa, papa's Pokemon was taken away by Mirror B as a prisoner. He did what? Mirror B used a dirty move like that? It's papa's Plusle. I'm so worried that they might be mean to it. It's humiliating, but with Plusle in their filthy hands, my own hands are tied. He's not getting away with this, that rotten mirror bee. But we're here now. We'll get Plusle back for you. Right, Neon? Of course. I'm a former criminal and partial terrorist. Where did I get the explosives to blow up the Snagum hideout, and why don't I have more of them? <laughs> I know I can always count on you, Neon. Duking, it's dangerous inside this building. You've got to get everyone out to safety. But Mistrevis is the only ghost type in the game. Really? That's kind of interesting. I guess if a <laughs> they just accidentally only had a select pool of Pokemon and only put one ghost type in. That's amusing. And they, <laughs> and they introduce it to you early on to give it to you. To carry you through the game. Like a ghost. Thanks for everything. I have to depend on you. I have no choice. Be careful always. Mirror B might look like a clown, but his battling is all business. Now let's look at this folder. Folder time! Found an Ein file. Obtained the Ein file. Ein file H is written on the file's cover. Read it. <laughs> only partial terrorist, only a little crime. Yes, but you can actually miss Mistrevious. Well, Duskull is in the game, but I don't think you can get it. I know that I ran into one Duskull, but I'm not sure if you can, like, catch. So who? maybe that's what they mean. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness only, I think. Definitely have to get to that one. That one's fun. Hyper Mode. Shadow Pokemon, perhaps because of their own overwhelming power, may behave abnormally at times. They may engage in such behavior as ignoring orders, even turning on their own trainers in battle. This I have named Hyper Mode. On the plus side, Hyper Mode raises the critical ratio of Shadow Rush. However, Hyper Mode is also prevents the use of items on the Pokemon. Hyper Mode is easily dispelled, simply call the Pokemon by name. However, this method has a major drawback. Calling the Shadow Pokemon's name causes the closed door of its heart to loosen and even open. Further research is urgently needed. Shadow Pokemon Lab Chief Ein. Ein, eh? It appears to open from the other side. Hmm. 
Are any of my Pokemon super hurt? Hmm. We should go and heal up at the Colosseum, and then we will come here and annihilate them all. Then again, we've been going for four hours. We can go a little bit longer. I'm liking this game. When game is good, I am willing to extend stream time to do more. Lots more. Fun times is fun good, yes. I would like to restore my Pokemon, yes. There's a research that actually allowed them to make Shadow Lugia a thing. Interesting. I wonder if... I wonder how often Shadow Lugia has appeared. I think Shadow Lugia is, like, only in the Gale of Darkness. <laughs> strapped in for the ride. Because it's ever fun. Sure, the pre-gym that I tried, because I was also, like, wandering around, like, where am I going? What do I need to do? Who do I need to talk to? So I went down and tried the pre-gym. And he was a bitch and used evasion moves. Using strategy in a Pokemon game? The ultimate sin! How long have you gone for? Four hours and one minute now. Hmm, now the question is... How do I want to arrange? Well, again, I'll have the main team out there, and then let's look at the door to their hearts. Krokna is almost. Slugma needs bashing down. Flaffy is good. So basically, just throw uh, Slugma out a bunch. Too bad for you. This elevator is off limits. I am going to send it crashing down. Chaser Kai? Well, what about the original run of Chaser? Is Fampy gonna be a shadow Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, I get the feeling. We'll have to see. Yeah, they made uh, Mewtwo and Pokemon Fighter based off the ideas of shadow Pokemon. You can purify Flaffy. I have no idea how to purify Flaffy. <laughs> so I just assumed that it was uh, something that I could only do later. Or maybe I need to... Maybe I need to actually look at it? I don't know. Go at shadow Pokemon. Purification even looks like the GameCube games. Neat! But yeah, I have... No idea how to, like, purify Pokemon just yet. I assume that it is a, like, story matter. Eventually the game will, after I, maybe at the bottom of this place, there'll be the purification machine or something. I am a noob and fool. I do not know how to purify. All I know is, oh, I use Pokemon, purple bar goes down is good, yes. You'll unlock purification in a village. It's always a village, isn't it? The happy, calming village. Pokemon village. You're very rude, Trapinch. You're going to die a horrible death. How dare you vomit on my dog! You bitch! Confusion. Terrify that poor elephant to death. Bye-bye. Throw some rocks at it. The ultimate way. Beep. Oh, it's not very effective. I should have seen that coming. But just good to know that I'm not, like, messing around like I could. Like, in the situation where I could purify them and I'm just but a fool and unaware. Good to know that I am not missing out on possibility. Blows up Trap Inch with mind. Isn't that already available right now? I assume not. It's such a big thing that I can only assume that, like, maybe we beat Mirror B, and there's like, oh, maybe if we find Professor Ein or something. I don't know. I assume it's a story beat. I can only assume it's such a big thing. Like, there's no way that it's not a story beat, right? Do you have Agate Village? I do not. I was wandering around uh, between uh, Pyrite, Fennock, the construction site, and the train diner. Being like, where do I need to go? What do I need to do? And then I went to like the Fennock Coliseum. Well, I'll read this and then continue my thoughts. This didn't happen! You didn't see anything, but I saw it all. But yeah, like, I was wondering what I needed to do because I missed Duking's house on my first run through. So I went to the Fennac Coliseum 
and Rui said, Oh, we should probably use just normal Pokemon for this. I'm like, how do I do that, Rui? So, I'm very lost. No matter what, this elevator is off limits. It's the elevator to the basement. It's locked. Jail key? Uh-huh. That'd be kind of dark. No, they stole all the vending machine food. Knock, knock. A kid? What are you doing here? What do you think you're doing here? I asked you the question first, you little snot-nosed little brat. I'm going to throw you down the elevator. Taylo and Hoot Hoot. You're a little bird boy, are you? Your birds are going to die. I'm going to make Thanksgiving dinner out of them. And of course, we're... Throw Slugma out. Purely, at least get his good ohm meter high enough that he can use his overpowered flamethrower that was utterly annihilating me in the fight. I want that flamethrower. That flamethrower good. Confusion! Blows up Taylo with mind. Honestly, this world is kind of scary because everybody has, like, level 30 Pokemon. That Hoot Hoot is a sniper. Kill. Get down, Mr. <laughs> President Slugma. Sniper Hoot Hoot from the grassy knoll. <laughs> a double backflip? Just... Just to taunt me? Ah, that'll change soon. The everybody having level 30 Pokemon. Yeah, it's it's only gonna go up from here. Dangerously, I can assume. I defeated a little boy. Too strong for me! You're damn right. Now give me your lunch money. Your money is mine. Uh, I'm no match. I must level up some more. My question is, why are you even here, child? Like, why? This is a criminal hideout. Are you indoctrinated? Or are you just mean? Save? Yeah, I'll try to get to the end of this mini-dungeon, or I think it's a mini-dungeon, and see where things go. Hello? <laughs> My Pokemon are looking for the chance to go wild! Booyah! Bandana guy gets! Larvatar and Carvana. Bro wants to be a criminal, let him be. Well, I mean, I can't really talk. I am a terrorist. A terrorist and his two gay dogs. Let's see. I don't think I should throw Slugma out. I think Slugma would die. But we can throw out Krokna! Confuse the Larvitar. Have you been to Pyrite Cave? I have not. <laughs> I do not know where that is. I know that Mirror B said that he was going to go to a cave, but again, I assumed that that would be a place that I'd go to upon Story Beat. Oh no, the piranha is focusing. That's the one thing you don't want to see, a smart piranha. Oh great, they're all, they're both pumping up. We are going to pump you up! Because you can, oh what am I doing? I can shadow rush the bitch to death. That's where you fight Mirror B, I think. Yeah, I assume. It would be weird if Mira B would go, I am going to go to this specific place. And then you just don't go there ever. That would just be weird. Barboch. Oh, you're going to kill my Espeon, aren't you? You bastard. Shadow Rush. Bye-bye, Carvana. So many fainting animations are just real animal death concept. 
but just slightly terrifying. Blows up Barboach with mind. So you're about to unlock the way to Pirate Cave. Huzzah! Progress! Always nice to be Cabot confirmed. It would always be weird to be like, ah, actually, you're going the wrong way. I want to go wilder! This guy's losing his mind. I don't even think this guy is a criminal. I think he's just a psycho. My Pokemon don't look like they've gone wild enough, but I'll let you off of this <laughs> this time. Why is everyone being weird? Obviously. <laughs> it's like half the entire just village in here being criminals. Abnormality detected. Target locked on. Never mind, just all the weirdos come here. Oh, none of them are, but they're dealing with the after effects of shadow Pokemon. Oh, that would actually kind of be interesting. Like, the shadow Pokemon have effects on, you know, normal people. Then again, that does make sense. There was that one guy that had a shadow Pokemon, I think the Mistrevis even, in the battle square. And, like, he said that he was going, like, hyper mode. So maybe. It is entirely possible. And let me see. Uh, I'm gonna keep you out. Let's smite you. And swap Espeon for Slugma. See if we can use that overpowered flamethrower yet. They've been attacked. It does kind of elevate the, like, evilness of Shadow Pokemon, where it's not just like, oh, this is a normal Pokemon that's been driven to attack people. It is a normal Pokemon that has adverse effects even onto people. Don't you dare supersonic my slug. Supersonic my dog, how dare you. Uh, bite the Steel Sphere. Damn it. We still don't have my flamethrower. I want my flamethrower. I want to commit arson. Thunder shock. You fucker. Throw a rock at him. Yeah. Damn it. Come on. Rock beats metal. Technically, metal is a rock to a degree. Also, when you get the gauge down to zero, keep in mind that they will still gain experience until purifi- Uh, they will still gain experience until purification. Unless that is a, like, uh, a typo. Neat! I actually like that. I should just be using Shadow Rush, because it bypasses typing. I'm an idiot. I'm too normal Pokemon powers. Don't you dare thunder shock my, my slug. You fucker. He killed my slug of lava. It should have melted through the floor, but it didn't because he was a special boy. Go for the iffy. Also, one thing I've noticed is I've yet to be able to, like, bop, 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 nickname any of my Pokemon. So I don't know if that's a thing in this game. Of course you did. We must avenge the Jelly Lava Slime. Especially now that we have a Sniper Magnet. Don't go attacking me, Flappy. It's very mean. Bite the metal. Nom nom nom. Make the metal flinch? Yes. I'm not... My Espeon's not the only one who's psychic. Nom nom nom. And maybe the Shadow Rush goes through? God damn it. It's always my luck. Where it just continually goes again and again and again and again and again and again. Hyper mode, hyper mode, hyper mode, hyper mode. No move for you. And call to the Flappy. Flappy, stop being angry. 
We are here to kill this magnet, but you are hampering that effort. Time to kill. I like the sound effect of the re like the Pokeball recall. It sounds so cool. Emergency! Mayday! Mayday! You're not on a plane. <laughs> Abnormality detected in friendly Pokemon. Well, that's ominous. Don't forget Shadow Rush has an increased critical hit chance in Hyper Mode. I know that. It's just my brain has locked on to uh, break Pokemon out of Hyper Mode for some reason. It allows me to make them friendlier faster. Granted, it was also just happening to Flaffy, who is already, like, fully friendly-fied. Hmm. I think we come in here and beat you up. My beloved Pokémon, see? <laughs> Fresh prey! I don't want to get eaten by your Pokémon. Although that's a horrifying like dark and edgy like story idea a serial killer who feeds his victims to his pokemon but seriously consider voice acting you're wildly talented i keep auditioning for like various casting call things i just never ever make the cut for some reason sadness I know Slugma will probably die, but Shadow Rush. <laughs> You'll get there someday, hopefully. Eventually. Just gotta persevere. And then that one big break will come. And Steven Spielberg himself will become my friend. <laughs> Who's gonna die? Are you gonna hit the water guy or the lava guy? The whooper is smart! Who's scarier? Eh, if we just double down on the whooper, eventually we'll hit the wingle. Unless this guy kills my lava slug. Never mind, the bird is dumb. It's like, crocodile! Blah! Critical hit! And the whooper still survived. Good for you. You are going to die now thanks to Lava Slug. Bye bye, whooper. And now we must kill the bird. It keeps taking my chips. <laughs> bird and fish rivalry. It is classical. It probably. Th Knowing the bird, it probably would try to eat the croc knot, even though it's like five times its size. Because birds are dumb, but also full of anger. I'm hella subbed. Thank you very much. Send the bird spiraling through the sky. Just keep shadow rushing. Keeps going after... Th like, are you going to attack the slug? It's basically dead. You have type advantage. No, bird? Silly bird. Then again, this guy is insane. So, probably not much strategy there. Defeated Guy Loba. Ay! My beloved Pokemon! And then I mug him for his money. My beloved Pokemon are all beat up! And you're insane. I found a great ball. There are five of them. Yay. Apparently, apparently difficult books. Apparently difficult books. Apparently difficult books. Is that just like the name of the franchise of whatever it is? Apparently difficult. 
Well, we'll power on. You're like a bug Pokemon drawn to a candle. I'm going with these Pokemon! Baldy Builder Ackman, look at that chin. Electrike, Voltorb! Look at those brows on that Voltorb. <laughs> it's because the child cannot see what she, what's in those books. I'm a terrorist. I don't need to read. Who needs the power of brain when you have the power of bomb? That apparently we can't get any more of for some reason. The player character is just like, I had to use my collector's edition explosives to get this snagger device. I like the effects there. Those were cool looking effects. The Electrike almost lived, but soon he will die. Damn it, I forgot. Oh, <laughs> we paralyzed each other. And uh, go smack the Voltorb, and we will use Swift. <laughs> idiot. You're paralyzed. You can't move. Through the power of stars. <laughs> Imagine being petro like paralyzed, unable to move, as stars rain down to kill you. Would be a fun time, wouldn't it? The boy leveled up. Huzzah! Sonic Boom. The camera shake felt pretty intense. Whoever in animated that was like, we have to capture the intensity of this spin. Critical hit. Munched it like an everlo uh, everlasting gobstopper. This wasn't good enough. This is a dilemma. Why does every single person I beat in this game have a mental breakdown? <laughs> Even when they say something normal. No glory for the fallen. I'm crushed. <laughs> what does that even mean, no glory for the fallen? Are you like a social Darwinist? <laughs> Some of these lines are kind of creepy. <laughs> There's a reason you have no ability to get more explosive, but it's related to plot. Uh, did you check the desk? Which desk? Oh, the desk up there. I probably should. Like, the big, big desk. But th that is amusing, that it is actually a plot point that you can't get more. No, it doesn't look like there's anything to... Nope. Nothing at this desk, it seems. Hail to the King, Mirabi. I know that he's a fan favorite in this game. But nope, nothing at that desk. Unless you meant a different desk, in which I am dumb. Why do they have arrows? <laughs> Come and get some. We're gunning our engines. Everybody is mad here. Ryder Raylene. Come on, Raylene. <laughs> Lady Ba. And the two-headed freak. And you have three Pokemon to murder. Now eh, we'll kill the bug. Murder the bug. Send it down to that bodybuilder. He wants to crush some. <laughs> the two-headed freak is in a rage. Apparently he didn't like my comment. Nom. Goodbye, bug. Another Swablu! And I guess we'll send out Slugma just to lower his stuff. Because Shadow Pokemon affect the mind, but also some people believe the philosophy of the strong Pokemon becoming irreversibly weak when meeting defeat. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> Mirby is in here in Gale of Darkness and is a vibe, man. 
I can believe it. <laughs> Again, he's like one of the only things that I've seen of these games, aside from like the obvious, like Shadow Lugia. Super effective, but not much damage. Huzzah! The Astonishing Bird. How do you astonish living lava? Flamethrower time! Murder! <laughs> Murder him! Someone has literally made a champion theme for Mirror B. <laughs> he has his own fan base. If only he wasn't a criminal, he probably could have found that fan base in universe. Leave my dog alone. My psychic dog does not need your shenanigans. Flamethrower. How dare you live. He can throw rock, but then... Swift attack. He does in the second game. <laughs> it's almost like a cult. I guess if anybody could, it would be him. I wonder if they brought him back in the second game because he was so unique and beloved by the fans. That's another thing. It's actually kind of interesting and cool that this game managed to get a sequel. Now, if only they made a third one. Dropped in the dirt. Like, did these, did this, these people just kidnap people and be like, we're gonna lock them up in here and watch them go insane? I only lost because I didn't have a shadow Pokemon this time. No, I would have just stolen your shadow Pokemon. How dare you live? You're just like, they have to die. <laughs> it's like the uh, the current, like, uh, internet drawing meme is just like, we're gonna have to kill this guy, Rui. <laughs> Rui. Oh, damn. My Pokemon are solid troopers. Check them out! Huntatura. Feeling snow runt. Oh, snow runt. I've always had a soft spot for snow runt. Now we shall destroy them. Watch them suffer. Eat the sphiel. There was talk about that a few years back uh, for the third game comment. Huh. Maybe someday we will get one. Hopefully they'll continue with the theme of, like, blah, blah, blah. having kind of, sort of, main games that are also kind of side games. Kind of like Legends Arceus, because I love Legend Ar Legends Arceus. Fantastic game. I would be totally down if they decided to make a Pokemon like Legends Johto. Just, like, give me more of that gameplay. The gameplay, the agile style, strong style, sneaking around, throwing the Pokeballs. It's like, that, like, if they just iterated off of Legends Arceus, I would be so content. They made, uh, they made a subpar substitute on the Wii of just regular Pokemon games. Sadness. <laughs> Wielder Volo and Mirror B. They get into a dance off of their ridiculous hairstyles. Bite into the snow cone. Snow runt has fainted. What do you gotta say, mister? How'd this happen? Because you have terrible fashion sense. So admit it, my Pokemon are decent, huh? Even though they can't win. Okay, I gotta respect him. He was still putting respect on his Pokemon's names, even though they lost. He wasn't like the last lady who's just like, eh, I, I only lost because I didn't have the right Pokemon. That guy's just like, my Pokemon are still good, they're just not stronger than you. Could you imagine how sick their battle theme would be, though? Volo and Mirror B double battle, where you have to fight him. And then, like, Wes and, uh, uh, what's her name? 
I'm trying to think. I forget what the not Don character's name in ba -ba -ba Legends Arceus is. It's slipping my mind right now. The shelves are lined with apparently difficult books. Apparently difficult books. Cynthia, no, the uh, character that looks like Don, it's, I, I think it's like uh, Akira or something? I forget her actual name, but like Wes, the player character from this game, and her teaming up to take down the bad guy. Oh, hey, box. I got a revive! Who are you? My Pokemon can dance with elegance even in a dump like this. Akari, that's it. My brain is just like, I know the letters, but I don't know the word itself. I don't know why my brain wants to autocorrect Akari to Akira. Probably because Akira is just like, oh yeah, it's that famous anime thing. Akira! Tetsuo! I'm but a fool. I forget. Can we just, like, psychic this guy to death? Why does it look like a PS2 game? Because it came out on the GameCube around the PlayStation 2 generation. Akira Kirasu from Persona 5. I've yet to play Persona 5. I've played a bit of Persona 4, and I need to go back to it at some point. But I keep just... There's too many games, man. And also, Persona activates all my anxieties. It's like, oh no, time management. I want to do this efficiently and good. <laughs> Double kill. I'm not familiar with this game. That's fair. Persona 3 is peak Persona. I've heard good things, I think. I do know, at least I've heard, that it's kind of on the border of kind of early jank, but still really good. Persona 3. I also heard that it's getting like a remake or a remaster or something. Again, I just need to go through and play the Persona games at some point. Or at least Persona 4, then 5, then 3. At some point. Too many games! Where's the wind coming from to flap my coat? Dancing alone doesn't win any battles. Well, not with that attitude. Persona 3 Reload. Yeah, that's it. The end is always so cruelly pitiless. Oh, whoa. Ooh woo. Oh hey, lady bodybuilder, I think. Now what compels someone like you to come here just for the sake of getting thrashed by me? I'm gonna throw you down the elevator shaft. Who are you gonna throw out? Cacnea and Tentacool. I might play Persona 3 or Persona 4 before Persona 5. Yeah, I'm gonna play Persona 4 before it. Persona 4 Golden. It's just again, I keep getting distracted. If you have cool guy energy, you'll always be followed by a gust of wind. Yeah, I could see that. Are you a bad enough dude to have your own custom wind feature? Explodes jellyfish with mind. But yeah, like, I have so many games that I need to get to, that I want to, like, at least record myself playing or stream like I want to go back I need to finish like Ace Attorney Trilogy at some point I have one case left one episode but I just keep getting wrapped up in other things I also need to go back and finish buh 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 uh well not finish I need to go back and play more Breath of the Wild on stream so I can get to Tears of the Kingdom and again, I also want to get to Pokemon Ex uh, Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. Because I have some memories of that, but it's been a long, long time since I played it. I played like Blue Rescue Team a year ago. Loved it. Still got teary-eyed. I want to experience more Mystery Dungeon. Then I need to do Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon. So many games. Rui just ha has a fan at all times <laughs> for Wes. That's funny. I love the Phoenix Wright series. The Ace Attorney games are so good. But I just keep getting distracted by other games. Like, I've played through, like, 90% of the Ace Attorney trilogy. And it's already all uploaded on the... My streaming YouTube channel. Uh, done in, but how? What blind spot did you exploit? Uh... 
skill. <laughs> it's a skill issue. Oh, hey, we can see the guy all the way down here. Oh, dude. You just have... I'm going to go ahead and go down the elevator. Oh, hey, it's that guy who stole the diddly D. Darling, aren't you one of Duking's people? What made you think you could simply waltz in here? Such a silly boy. Uh, where's Mirror B? I'm taking him down! Take him down? After the beating you took? That's too funny. <laughs> you wait. I'm going to drive all of you out of this town! <laughs> oh, it was such a feisty boy. Don't tell me we have to take your Pokemon hostage to make you settle down, like we did with Duking. What? Hello, I'm the cool guy. Cool guy? Oh, we seem to be getting a lot of unexpected company today. But that's no excuse for being a bad host. Also, also, oh, let's see. also so the Pokemon game I'm referring to in the Pokemon Battle Revolution, the Pokemon Wii game. Isn't that one just like uh, Pokemon Stadium, but for the Wii? Cause, which does remind me, it's kind of funny that they're like, Oh, Pokemon 64, it's uh, Pokemon uh, Stadium. And then they made a game for GameCube, like, Oh, Pokemon Coliseum, but it's like still a normal-ish Pokemon game. Let's see. Return the Remoraid. Just battles. Sadness. Oh no! The Remoraid! Oh well. I am not resetting just for a Remoraid. If it was a Sneasel, then I would... Then I would restart. But Remoraid? Eh. I don't really care about Octillery. The battle system is more in style of Coliseum. Hmm. Interesting. Critical hit. Goodbye, Spinarak. This is the one-hit murder day. Rim Raid can be caught later. Good. At least N64 had those cool mini-games. Kind of disappointing. That is sad. Then again, I've heard, like, nothing about Pokemon Revolution at all, so... I guess it isn't surprising that it doesn't really have all that much going for it. Kind of disappointing, though. Could you imagine, like, a modern day? Well, then again, I guess there really isn't a point for, like, Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Revolution titles anymore. Because Pokemon Battle Revolution and Pokemon, like, Stadium were made in an age where all the major Pokemon games were on handheld in vastly different, like, uh, styles. But now that the Switch is the main console, and Pokemon games have been 3D for years now, there really isn't, like, all that much of a need for, like, that typical console fiddly D. How did that happen? Unbelievable! Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 are amazing, indeed. It's only bought up for those animations. <laughs> My Pokemon couldn't muster a thing. You're no ordinary trainer. Were you hired by Duking as his bodyguards? Let me warn you, if you mess with us, you better be prepared for the consequences. Oh no, not firm, huh? Who are you gonna throw at me? Mantine and Apom. Are one of you Shadow Pokemon? The animations are honestly the best thing about Pokemon Re Revolution. I can bet that. I think I remember seeing videos of it and people going like, Oh, that's cool. There's movement to have uh, an official battle simulator like Showdown for the Switch. That might be cool. If you could like maybe tap into Pokemon that you have. Like in your other games, that might be cool. It'd probably be like stadium, but just a simulator. Probably. But like, out of all the Pokemon games that I want, like realistically, the one that could exist that I want the most is a another like modern Pokemon mystery dungeon. Like I would, 
Like, if we got one that just had impeccable story, oh, I would love it. Because I want, I, I, I want my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon to destroy me emotionally. But I also want, like, more games set is like in a Pokemon Mystery Dungeons-esque world. Where it's just the Pokemon. I don't care about the humans. I want the Pokemon. I'm here for the Pokemon. Survive, my dear boy. <laughs> you know what? I'd buy it. If you don't like the Poke... Poke Mr. Dungeon remakes? Maybe not remakes, but like... I don't know. I haven't played the Rescue Team remake on Switch just yet. Haven't played it. Might need to get it at some point, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to justify buying a full-price game of a game that I kind of already own. Granted, it is a remake, but I don't know. Need to get it eventually. But, like, I want more Mystery Dungeon games or games set in that world. Where the player is the Pokemon. Again, if I got, like, a 3D dungeon crawler beat-em-up Mystery Dungeon game, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon... I would love it. Like, with more character, more story. Like a super RPG. I would love it. It would be amazing. Where should I start with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? I think I have one on the 3DS. Personally, I would suggest starting with, like, not knowing much about the, like, Switch remake of the Rescue Team games. I would suggest beginning with Blue Rescue Team, uh, which is the DS game, because Blue Rescue Team, I think, is a good baseline in terms of, like, story and, like, gameplay. Explorers is where, like, a lot of people say the game is really, really good. Like, uh, Explorers of Sky, specifically, which is also on the DS, because there's three Explorers games. Explorers of Darkness, and I think Explorers of Time, I think they are. And uh, then there is Explorers of Sky, which is basically the third edition, like, super duper, this is the definitive one, which is good. That's the, like, the fan favorite. Then came along Gates to Infinity, which changed up the formula. Uh, and I think people like concepts from it, but it also has some people that dislike it because it changed, like, the basic attack while you're in dungeons and certain other things, but I want to experience it myself before I rain judgment down. Then, later on, near the latter years of the, uh, 3DS, they made Super Mystery Dungeon for the 3DS, which I think was relatively well-received, but... Uh, I think some people might not have liked it. It still carried over some of the things from, uh, Gates to Infinity. Like the base, I think, five attack for basic attacks. So it encourages more move usage during dungeons. But I think people liked it well enough, I think. It brought back the character quiz, which I like. I've uh, heard spring game, but the graphics are odd. I speak to one hitman punching the crap out of Rayquaza. <laughs> I don't know which one you're, uh, the pretty good, but graphics are odd one. Could be referring to the, uh, the Switch game. Possibly. I think the graphics for the Switch one, like, so far, like, all the ones that I've seen, the graphics, I like them all. They all look nice. But yeah, uh, as my opinion, just to reiterate concisely, Blue Rescue Team is a good starting point because the story is simpler but still emotional. You can maybe ignore, like, most of the post-game, but there are a few post-game dungeons that are decently story-based that you might want to do. But the post-game does kind of go on the cruelty of adding in traps, and the traps are just bad. Uh. But Explorers of Sky, fan favorite. I need to experience it again. Gates to Infinity has its fans, but it changed things up and drew ire due to that. And then Super Mystery Dungeon. I remember liking it. I need to go back and finish it after all my playthroughs of the Mystery Dungeon games again. But I didn't hear too many bad things about it. 
Uh, the remake, yeah. I heard people complain about the Switch remake. I don't think I heard much about it. I know they did change some things, but they also fixed other things. Like, one of my major gripes of the original Blue Rescue Team kind of got fixed with the remake from what I heard. Which amuses me. But I am not, like, fully aware of what the goings-on with the Rescue Team DX, because I have not played it yet. Maybe someday. I'll give Blue Rescue Team a try, then. Just know that, like I said, the story and, like, characters are a bit simpler in Blue Rescue Team, but I liked them. It still made me cry. And once you get to credits, you can kind of stop out again. There are a few story-based dungeons in the post-game. But most of the post-game can be ignored because... <laughs> difficulty spike. Uh. The tower. The tower. But mostly for me, the, the traps. I hate the traps. I grinded the gummy IQ things purely to get the the trap defense because <laughs> I hated it. What just happened? Unbelievable too. Let's make our Wraith, let's make ourselves scarce for the time being. Right o Firma. Ultra Superior Fire Dash Which is running away. Hello there. Uh, ow. Thank you. You saved me. Do you people know Duking? Uh, passingly, but yes. Okay, I'm a fool. I didn't know it was happening at all. They've taken Duking's Pokemon hostage. How could they do something so downright dirty? That's why we're here. We came to rescue Plusle. I'm going to... Ah, uh, not in your condition. You have to wait here. Whoa, we meet again, kitties. Mirror B, you cowardly cheat. Cowardly cheat? That's so not true. Taking a hostage is perfectly fine as a bargaining tactic. You call it that a tactic? Plusles had better, had better be okay. Oh, that darling couldn't be any safer if it tried. I'm sure it will come to adore me before too much longer. You've got to be kidding. Where is it? Give it back! <laughs> no running or hiding for me! Come to the cave. That's where I'll be. I'll be waiting for you, my pretties! <laughs> and we'll come down here to do a save. Oh, and don't forget, always betray Kesleons. Kekleon? I forget. Uh, don't do that. They are the nightmares. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Mirby's outfit was always fabulous, but I prefer his Gale of Darkness outfit. I've yet to see his Gale of Darkness outfit, I think. Hyper potions? Jesus. Oh. Okay, that, that amuses me. I am but a fool, but luckily I've defeated everyone. So we can just come around, save... But I do believe that that will be it for now. I know, cliffhanger, we're right at the Mirror B fight. But I've been going for almost five hours. And I need to stop at some point. And if I... I I'm not falling into... Oh, just one more syndrome. One more one more, one more syndrome is a uh, nightmare, 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 nightmare. But... Yeah, this, this game is great. Aside from going to the pre-gym too early, this is great. The character... I kind of like the characters that I've met so far. Mirror B seems cool. And th they're, they're freaking anime bishi motherfucker boss man who's just like peak Sephiroth energy just existing is hilarious to me. <laughs> and then, like, the shadow Pokemon mechanic of snagging them is cool, although it is a little weird how... Nobody comments on it, like, hey, you stole my Pokemon! Then again, maybe they're being affected by the Shadow Pokemon and are kind of nuts. But the world design, the character design, the 3D models are pretty cool. It's very fun. Very interesting. And again, you begin with Umbreon and Espeon. I'm an Eevee guy. Love it. So far, it's very fun. Don't worry, this is a dungeon. You go, don't get to Mirror B yet. Understandable. I'll be here to see you and... Uh, recommend it again. Hopefully. But yeah, so far, this game, 
really liking it. The music, the sound effects, the design. I can't wait to experience more of it and hopefully be smarter and not get angry at Mr. Evasion Preach Him. But yeah, this is fun. And hopefully I'll be able to roll right through this. This is good. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, all links to what I do can be found through my link tree, linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings, with links to my edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, my streaming and VOD channel, Neon Icy Games, or if you prefer watching me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. And I have lots of things over on my Neon Icy Games VODs, like my Mass Effect trilogy, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, Pokemon Yellow, Crystal, Emerald so far playthroughs. Just lots and lots of games that I've played through, and all this stream will be uploaded there eventually as well. Also, if you want other things like from me, like my little character in the corner, I draw and upload those to the various art sites, again found in the link tree. If you want writing from me, I write on a few sites out there, if you want that. And if you want to be supremely kind, you can throw a dollary do my way through my Patreon to stave off the darkness of my heart. But yes, thank you again, everybody. Uh, well, wait. So the Snatcher Wes has uh, is why he's able to catch Pokemon and people don't comment on it because of plot. Of course, it's a, because of plot. The ultimate power, plot. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.